Vegas and I left my car parked in Monrovia and I didn't see that there was a street sign that said, you know, if you leave your car parked here for over a certain amount of time, we're going to tow you because they're doing construction. So it was normally cool to park there, but, you know, they was doing some overnight construction. Came back, my shit was gone. So I'm like, where the fuck is my car? So I go to the motherfucking police station. I'm oblivious and I'm about to go to jail. I'm happy go lucky. I got plans to do other shit. You know when you don't know you're going to jail, nigga. You're just oblivious. I go inside, a little white boy cadet. You know they got them volunteer niggas? They be working at the station because they want to be police. Mm -hmm. So they working for free for a while. So this all-American blue-eyed white boy, about 6'3", 200 pounds, you know. It's an all-American white boy. He's cheesing again. Let me see your ID. You said we have your truck? So he take my ID. He go back. Nigga not telling me the whole time that I got a warrant. (laughs) He go back and forth. And he's setting up them arresting me. He not he didn't warn me or nothing. Wow. Yeah. Punk ass nigga. <laughs> he trying yeah. to make it on the team. Yeah. He's trying to make it. So I'm starting to get an attitude because he keep going back and forth. <laughs> but he ain't saying nothing to me, man. And the last time, man, he said, you know you got a warrant? And I turn around, there's two police no. behind me. Oh, <laughs> you know you got a warrant? Like, you can tell me this before the conversation? That's nigga, crazy. I had no idea. You know what it was for, nigga? I, when the train first started cracking, remember when they first started having the Metro? I hopped on that bitch, and I didn't pay. Wow. And they gave me a ticket, and I totally yeah. forgot about the motherfucker. Because when the train first came out, Nobody was taking that shit serious now, like that. It, it, I mean, I got a you ticket. When it yeah. first started, we were with the bus, and you had to pay before you sat down. So Man, the train came out yeah. like, I don't got to pay up front. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. They they put me in that cell, bro. How long was you in there? I was in that motherfucker for 12 hours, man. <laughs> That's hard time. Yeah. For me, that was hard man, time, like bro. Life. For, yeah, well, your first joke. I did three hours, so. Yeah. 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 Drove through a checkpoint. Oh, they should have took your ass to jail for life. <laughs> <laughs> you, had your, you had your glasses off? Yeah, the nigga glasses man. was fogged Yeah. <laughs> you can blame everything on that. When we was moving over there to the Prospero, man, was coming from Gardena. Got through pack, unpacking and shit, drove down the street over there by that Rite Aid, and it was a checkpoint. They said, we be taking you to jail. You know what to do. And what, what they, 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 did they have, like, did you, were you drunk? No, I didn't have a, I didn't have a license. I was riding dirty. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I left that part out. Yeah. I, didn't yeah. Have no, I didn't have no license. He so had a like, legal ninja star in the passenger. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a poisonous tip ninja star. Yeah. I was riding with uh, DJ Show. He didn't have a muzzle on. Uh, yeah. Can we get the show on the big screen? Is that possible? The show on the big screen is the old one behind us. Uh, damn, as soon as you might get in the door, Sunny Sunny, like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, that nigga do look like Andre Rising. Like yeah. That shit crazy. Who was that? What's up, D? So I'm in the cell, man, and you know your first time going to jail as a motherfucker because you're not prepared to not know what time it is. A lot of niggas don't know how to how to fuck with your brain yeah. when you've been somewhere for a long time and you don't know whether it's daytime, nighttime, you don't know what time it is. Right. I kept banging on the door asking the motherfucking deputy, "What time is it, bro? Like, what the what, what's going on, man? Can I get a call?" Uh, the hard ass beds. You ever been to jail? I ain't ever been to jail. You can't handle it. <laughs> <laughs> I used to work in one. It ain't no comforts, my nigga. Yeah, I'm good. It ain't no comforts in prison. I, I, I mean, I call it prison. It ain't jail, man. <laughs> so you was in the cell for three hours. Was, any, was anybody in there with you? Um, not at first. I was just like in a little holding tank area with all of the glass around it. So you know, I was like, I want to. Write raps or do some shit. That's like when Lil Wayne went to jail. Nice he was writing raps. <laughs> so yeah. write you write a rhyme? I wanted to, but Hell I no. was too bored. He went in there like Eddie Murphy from Trading Places. Uh, <laughs> Roddy Man Bruce. Nah, he, he went in there like like a, like a kid playing a house party. Remember the nigga was rapping this? I'm a karate man. You wouldn't happen to know that because he's a big Barry White motherfucker. Karate man. He's from this side. This side. <laughs> That's where he came up with it. Back the fuck up. That's when he came up with the, the, the hooker story. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was the hooker. <laughs> it was. <laughs> and the whole take, 
yeah. <laughs> Why do they keep it so cold in there, bro? Man, germs. Yeah. It Same was reason hospitals was cold. Okay, it was cold as a motherfucker mm-hmm. in there, bro. Mm-hmm. They took my shoelaces. I'm like, this is just a holding tank. I'm gonna kill myself. In here. So that's why you've been wearing a headband ever since. Gotta keep them laughing to keep the mind on the booty. Ain't going back. You went to jail before show? No, I used to work at one. Really? Yeah. I used to work at jail. Hard dog. Yeah. <laughs> you got that Beyonce hat on, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga said you was a guard yeah. dog. <laughs> oh I just said it in my head. Them open up a cell. You lying? You lying? Which jail did you work at? Uh, I worked at Parker Center. Um, oh, downtown. Yeah, I was working there like for the first week, and then I was a uh, Custodian at the fucking um, at Wilshire Police Station, at Central Police Station, at the library, like all kind of shit, bro. Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> library jail. Hey. Yeah. It's like jail in there. It's books and shit. Yeah. Work. Yeah. I don't like you here, man. Yeah. I kill myself. Yeah, I almost kill myself. You've been cleaning commodes for a long time. Bro. Yeah, that shit was horrible, bro. This commode, that commode. <laughs> That shit was horrible, bro. Yeah. But now, nah, like, all it is, it, but it's like no different from working there. And, like, I mean, it is different because you get to go home and eat and shit, the luxuries. But it's down there, like, if you're a custodian, then you feel like a trustee in that motherfucker. Right. Because you hear the, the shit, the doors locked, and then you got to clean up, all that shit. You Ain't know nobody try to pay you to bring some dope in? Nah, somebody tried to pay me to text, uh, message their sister, though. How much they offer you? Shit, I don't know. They had no money behind. I'm like, what the fuck you gonna give me? <laughs> but yeah, but no. Nah, but what they'll do is, but they'll, what they'll do is though, they'll plant yeah, people. They'll, plant, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. they'll make it right for you. <laughs> you know, they offer to suck shows dick. To oh, oh, man. oh, you a grown ass <laughs> man. Ooh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Mouth water when you heard about it. I think you need therapy. <laughs> nah, but it's, it's really not a difference like when you work this here. Strong, you, bro. you get the same uh like dramatic shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? You like, like clean the jail shit, like toilet toward the jail. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah. They didn't have to like the, the clean the prison make them like you have to clean Yeah, shit. we have to clean that that's, shit, bro. That's like the pen. That's they got good. they got their own cleaning supply, yeah, yeah, that's the pen. Yeah. That's county, nigga. They got them niggas doing that shit. County yeah. is uh, just a disrespectful experience, period. period. First of all, if you can't fight, you better learn how to fight. For real. Because when niggas get to slide in them bunks, if you ain't got nothing for somebody, it's going to be a long motherfucker. And you ain't got to whoop a nigga. You just got to be exuberant about taking a loss. You got to act like this up, but nigga, whatever. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> You, you just get, you feel what I'm saying? Cause niggas want, whatever you want to do, homie. Like, I ain't trying to be disrespectful, but I ain't no bitch. We can get down. Niggas want to slide the, <laughs> cause it ain't about whooping that. Cause this niggas in the county that have ridiculous hands. Man. I'm talking about next level. Like, why ain't you boxing type nigga? It's niggas like that. So they, you ain't never gonna have the most hands in the, in the county, but you just got to be exuberant and respectful. And you'll survive in jail. A lot of people get this misnomer about jail being this place where there's a lot of homosexuality going on. That's more YA shit. Yeah. It is homosexuality going on, but it ain't not on no main line like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, right. They got their own mind. They keep them in like the transsexuals and they like to dress up like girls. Yeah, but it ain't the real homosexuals you got to worry about. I mean, the open homosexuals. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's, it's, it's the niggas that, that look like us. You know right, 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 right. <laughs> that, that, that nigga look like you. Talk about us and his No, it's a, no, keep one. It's a gay nigga that look just like every nigga in this room. <laughs> You, it's all a nigga that, that, that yeah, it, it's a gay nigga that look like every nigga like, in this room. Show them mean gay, he meant niggas eating off the table versus niggas eating on the floor. <laughs> 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 table, man. It's a nigga out there look like gay dunk. Think all you niggas in here are stupid. Uh. <laughs> Up too. You, hey, you said epitome, and what did I say? It was canary. I said cannery. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I 
Show me the show. Show me the show. Show me the show. Show me the show. I was saying this in the fifth grade. I was. I'm not saying that. No, you say that show. I went to the county in San Diego, nigga. I had just came off for a show, nigga. Had like four, had like four grand in my pocket. Motherfucking cops was like. Guess who came in with like four grand in pocket? Then niggas just started looking around. Like, oh. <laughs> nigga, I said, well, I had to sway like this against the wall the whole night, nigga, because niggas was just like eyeing me down. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, nigga, I, 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 I imagine the San Diego prison is just a bunch of rogue surfers. <laughs> 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 Oh no, it's some hood shit going on in Vegas. No disrespect to Southeast San Diego or none of that. It's some killers, some real niggas out there for sure. I know that. Much love to San Diego. You know what I'm saying? That's a part of Southern California. Real tough. And, and it's niggas, it's stomp down gang members out there for real. But what you gonna do, do with it? I can give it to you, but what, what you gonna, gonna do? do? <laughs> hey, J.O. Yeah. Felony is yeah. so slept on. Hey, <laughs> that nigga had a mixtape called Don't Get Meatballed. Yeah. That shit was hard. <laughs> nigga talking about blowing your head, your brains out your skull, nigga. Don't get meatballed. He is a motherfucking uh, a problem in this rap shit. Shout out to uh, yeah, Shout out to Dago, man. Shout out to <laughs> Southeast, man. Okay, who was the other motherfucker that was real wild with it? Mitchy um, Slick. Mitchy Slick, Slick, yeah. Brother Lynch. Brother Lynch. Oh, brother Lynch. So brother Lynch from the Bay. That motherfucker was wild. Every day EBK all day, all day. All day. That all motherfucker day. was wild. Yeah, brother Lynch is a savage, man. His partner was dope too, though. Uh, uh, what was it? The, the nigga that was making? He just got out. He was making all the albums in the pen. Man. uh... X rated. Oh, oh man. X rated. He's out. They let him out. He was out. And then what's the nigga that ate the girl's heart? Oh, lurch. yeah. Lurch, yeah, lurch. Yeah. Breaks them off. Hit them in their chest without that vest and watch them cough. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga's so hard, bro. Yeah, them niggas was vicious, man. That nigga's hard. That nigga's hard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nigga was that was, hey, you know that was yeah. out here. That nigga was yeah, out the PCP. It was in Compton, right? No, it was in uh, LA. But, he, was, uh, he was out that PCP, though. Yeah. Well, he what he was? Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he had a big heart. He yeah, found a piece that? of his heart, her heart in his stomach. Yeah, her, she he was he was chewing on her intestines when they walked in. But they, but that's it's a crazy story, bro. Even her mama, like she don't believe that story. She like it's, it's some shit that went went down that they not really like the uh, the nigga that was staying with him that they he not really saying. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Probably with some all of his type shit. But either way, nigga. That definitely got to make you the hardest rapper ever. You know what I mean? No gun. Not to me, nigga. I don't need no gun, no, no rap. I don't nigga, respect no cannibals. Fuck that nigga. nigga. <laughs> eat a nigga on the I, track, then eat a nigga in real life, bro. That's some hard yeah. shit. <laughs> you respect the cannibal? Hell no, nah. I'm just saying. But that's you think, would you hang with a nigga that used to be a cannibal, but he said he got his life together? Like, that's been your pattern. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fuck around with people like that, man. I eat niggas, but I'm not homosexual. You put it together. You put it together. You couldn't hang with a nigga that used to be accountable. Why not? No, you you got to be a sick motherfucker to eat another human being. You could I'm, just be high on Sherm, like no, Lurch. No, yeah, if you was high on Sherm, you was sick motherfucker then. I ain't a you cow got, brain burrito before. I, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, me me, drunk mess can fuck me up. You know what I'm saying? Was that that car base shit? Yeah, 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 yeah but I didn't yeah, know. We, we had them cars in, in the, on the east side. Yeah, it, 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 it looked like ground beef, though. That's what I'm saying. It was too... It was a, uh, You'll hit the blunt behind a nigga that you barely know, but you won't hang with a cannibal? I don't hit the blunt behind a cannibal. I don't hit the blunt behind a cannibal. I don't know If the nigga was a cannibal, your homeboy was a cannibal, and nigga always kept a <laughs> well, that nigga probably rolling delicious. That nigga probably that nigga probably rolling skin blunts, nigga. If he had cannibal, he smoked skin. I don't know if a nigga was a good person and and was a good quality motherfucker and used to be a cannibal, I probably would hang with him. Go ahead, bro. General <laughs> Butt Naked, y'all know who General Butt Naked is? Yeah, yeah I already know. Yeah, General Butt Naked. <laughs> this nigga is an evangelist. Right now. Yeah. 
General Butt Naked was a, a a warlord in Liberia in the 90s, only not that much older than us. Yep. He probably in his mid to late 40s, right? So bet between 90 and 90, how long, how long was the revolution? From late 80s Somebody, to the mid 90s? Yeah, like when Liberia had the revolution, he led an army of niggas that smoked sherm <laughs> and snorted cocaine and fought on the battlefield and just they socks and they shoes. That's why they call them General Butt Naked because they get high off that sherm and be on the battlefield with Uzis and motherfucking whatever, killing. You said he became a preacher. That's crucial. You said he became a preacher, right? Right. He became an evangelist. Well, that's another set of motherfuckers I want to hang out with. <laughs> right, right. right. <laughs> that's another set of thugs. That's from one but thug to the next. I don't fuck with either one. A part of their ritual is when they captured their enemy, they got video of this on YouTube, if you think I'm lying. Uh, Cut yeah. the back open of the enemy, reach in through the back, grab the heart, and eat the motherfucking heart. Man, it's footage of it. This ain't no book. Nigga, look it up. I'm not typing it. in Mr. Butt Naked on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's called the General War It's called the General Warlords of Liberia. Oh, okay. That's the name of the documentary. It's a vice documentary. Yeah. Todd, your, your search your search engine seems worse. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna fuck up my algorithm. I said how I wanted it. So, but look, hey, that, y'all you know this? Ty got on a cheap version of the show shirt. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. Yeah. That's the homie. Yeah, I mean, that's like the homie. Chinese checkers. Yeah, that's the homie. This, this is the flyest these two niggas ever been. Chinese checkers. And Dewan got on a cheap version of my shorts. So, Dewan got on a shirt with nah, with with. With Brussels, <laughs> Brussels sprouts and a dinner fork in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a black American flag purchase in at hotelfish.com. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You purchase Blazers glasses at bullshit.com. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they got a war, a war against vegetable shit. Yeah. <laughs> war against vegetable shit? <laughs> 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 it can't, you can't. You said it slowly, but I like the way when it came out. Yeah. If you're not careful when you sit down next to the show, he'll sniff your lap. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see your show now. You got about three bucks in your pocket. <laughs> you got about three bucks in your pocket. You got, hey, you got, got them, a dollar for a buck. Hey, you got them pants from a shooting range. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but general, but general, but naked. If you don't know, Todd, he told a story about one time they was getting faded by the enemy. They got trapped in a, in a graveyard. Yeah, clippers out there? No, nah, not just crazy. <laughs> they was in a war. It was in a uh, in the trenches battling the enemy, and they backed them into a graveyard, and they were stuck in the graveyard for ninety days. Wow! And after thirty days, they ran out of food. And guess what they start doing? They start digging up the bodies in the graveyard and eating the bodies. That's cruel. Nah, 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 nah. I ain't fucking with them. I ain't fucking with them. I laid their dead. That's two weeks. How you gonna eat? Niggas. So, so in this documentary, he's testifying. He's preaching as an evangelist to the flock, and he's talking about these things to the church that God healed him from that type of behavior. That's crazy. I kind of want to, I might want to hear that. Like, you yeah, know what I'm saying? saying like, like, yeah, I used to be out there butt naked. Cool, kiss bro, bro. Like, like, what if butt he passed you the blunt? Would you smoke it? No, I'm not. With general butt naked. <laughs> 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 I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Yeah, 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 I don't want to hear <laughs> Why you do that, my nigga? <laughs> you, already, you already faded? Nigga. You ain't faded? That shit fire as hell. Man, fuck you, dude. <laughs> you killed that whole thing? God. Yeah, no. <laughs> Show watered his beard with the most. Yeah, he's stupid. You know what I'm saying? Strike. What do you think the shortest living animal is in the world? The shortest living animal? Yeah. yeah animal? Birth to death, full maturation of life. Not like born and gets killed by something like Butterfly. That. Oh, natural. Not like insect, but like animal, animal. Oh, it could be insect, whatever. A gnat. Is that fly? Uh, 
Mayfly. Mayfly, he was right, Mayfly. Entire yeah, life. Tw- Mayfly. <laughs> 24 hours. 24 <laughs> hours from birth to maturity, adulthood, grandfather, grandmother, lineage, Man. dead. 24 All that happens in 24 what? hours. Are they small like Matt's? Tiny. I'm not sure if they're small like now. I've never seen them. They, 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 they do. Within 24 hours? Within 24, All that shit. Within 24 seconds. <laughs> some of them only live 8 to 10 hours. Uh, so you could be born and crawl right into some pussy. <laughs> have a baby and it's two hours. 24 hours. hours. Uh, time, <laughs> time is relative. Wait till two hours. Yeah, like time is relative. <laughs> so. Your baby they niggas get the night. They, they, they get night time. Be tired as hell. I be tired of being retired from flying around. You know, all day. What that mean? That mean how would the mom, the female, have the baby within twenty four hours? That mean you, it's like that, t- time is relative. Like to that, so you, it's probably like like a whole like 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 seconds. 30, 40 years to them. So you, the, so the, the fly is born, born, it's grown, it can mate. Look, look, the fly is born, goes to elementary school, junior high, high school, <laughs> college, finds a wife, right, starts right. a family, retires from his job. So the whole family gonna live one day. Right. Yeah, that's crazy. That's it. Better figure it out. That's crazy. Oh, no. Nigga, that is, God is creative. Yeah, roosters. Roosters present themselves, prevent themselves from going deaf because of the loudness of their crow by tilting their heads backwards when they crow or when they do the whole rooster sound because there's a, a, a organ in their body that blocks their ears. It works like an earplug. And that's how they prevent, prevent themselves from going deaf because they actually crow loud enough to make themselves go deaf. Wow. So they, they don't hear their own bullshit. They don't right? hear. That's, that's the Making goddamn secret. We need to put a brace on their neck to keep them, <laughs> keep their head down. I bet he shut up then. <laughs> when they hear what we hear. Yo, do you think that if you was at war <clears throat> and you was fighting against General Butt Naked and, <laughs> and, and 30 God, motherfuckers came over, the, butt over the hill butt naked, do you think why you could make it back from the war? Why is a nigga named General Butt Naked on your mind like that? That nigga puts <laughs> 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 He's on your mind. He said, he said, he said an army of butt naked niggas. <laughs> <laughs> so you think he's <laughs> saying <laughs> 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 I thought it was one nigga. Man, it can't be one motherfucking butt naked <laughs> in front calling all the shots. Killing that nigga. With his balls out. Nigga, he's getting all the shots. Nigga, he's getting all the shots. Nigga, Y'all heard of a swift bird? Nah. Swift, swift birds spend their most of their lives in the air um, and can fly for almost an entire year without ever landing. Damn. They were they were they tagged one that didn't land for 10 months. Wow. Damn. That's incredible. God, damn. It was like drinking rain or some shit and keep going. I mean, wow. I don't know, man. I'm taking these white folks word for it on this. <laughs> 10 months, bro. Ten months. They must have been passing that tracker off like you know, you think of a story. <laughs> <laughs> you white people stupid. Do you know a cockroach could live up to three weeks after its head's been chopped off? Wow. Damn. Damn. Who did that stuff? Who did that? Who did that? Who did I've never seen a roach survive. You separated a, cock- a cockroach's head? No. Murder with a roach. Bow! You separate them. That's a whole body getting got. Yeah, I got it. Just cutting the head off. That's some sick shit. That's some sick shit. If you cut a cockroach's head to let it live, that's some sick shit. And just watch it. Keep it as a pet. And keep notes. Nah. Keep notes and shit. Which leg died first? Okay, the <laughs> the anterior, uh, the posterior left leg is the first one to go. Yeah, I thought that was incredible. Cows. Interesting fact about cows. They shit up to 15 times a day, which can be up to 115 pounds of shit a day, or approximately 21 tons of shit a year. Yeah. yeah. Cows are full of shit. Yeah. yeah. Literally. That vegetable diet. <laughs> Nigga. Yeah. A blue whale's tongue can weigh as much as 8,000 pounds. Tongue? The motherfucking blue whale's tongue can weigh 8,000 pounds. That's crucial. The longest living verified animal is a Madagascar radiated tortoise, which died at an age of 188 years old, May of 1965. Tell us an interesting fact about a DJ show buzzer. (laughs) (laughs) That's wild shit, man. Uh, 
Oh, I've, I've said this before. The giant Pac uh, Pacific octopus has three hearts, nine brains, and blue blood. Three hearts and nine brains. What would you do with an extra brain, Blaze? <laughs> <clears throat> Shit, man, extra brain. i will try to figure out something that ain't been figured. <laughs> like, why the hell Ty still got that headband on? <laughs> 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 why, what is this name? Blaze? Why Blaze be over there going to the weave chair every <coughs> Thursday? <laughs> weave chair. Is that headband silk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Velvet or something? <laughs> <laughs> There's an average of 50,000 uh, spiders per acre in green areas. 50,000 50, per spiders? acre. That's fucking Acre is a God lot damn. of space, though, and spiders don't occupy that much. So you could put 50,000 spiders could occupy an acre, and you barely see one or two. I see it, but you be looking out, you don't be seeing shit. You just be seeing right. dirt. Right, right. Well, it probably could fit, shit, 20,000 spiders in that air vent. We wouldn't even know. Yeah. Yeah. Take off your hat so we see what's going on. Take off your hat. This is going to Atlanta Falcons game. Right. Yeah, after true. this. Right. <laughs> Season over. <laughs> the aptly named Colossal Squid's eyes are as large as basketballs. Damn. Oh, man. That's a big ass. I don't be fucking with the ocean. Yeah, yeah. Totally when I see ocean. people get fucked up by eating the ocean, I'm like, nigga, that's another world. What the fuck you doing out there? Yeah. <laughs> what else is out there? We humans on Earth. Oh, see, oh, 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 see, oh, oh, see, 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 Oh, you know, I'm gonna talk to it. Fuck that. I'm not gonna <laughs> talk to it. He's running up to me. Got, got, got business with me, bro. <laughs> hey, man, a goddamn great white shark <laughs> can smell a drop of blood in the water from three miles away. Oh, yeah. Fuck that. That's a hungry motherfucker. Water, That's yeah. killer instinct. That's some wild shit. Three miles. Three away. miles, one drop of blood, bro. We'll do the last Craig fact. Uh. Only 5% of cheetah cubs survive in the wild. Yeah, cheetahs are trash. Cheetahs are cheetahs are trash. I used to think they were the best shit out there. Nah, they're trash. Only 5% of the cheetahs. Only 5% of cheetahs in the wild survive to be adults. They have anxiety problems. Like, cheetahs have anxiety issues. So. I thought they was a cold. It's hard for them to, it's hard for them to make. They can overheat too. Oh, this is an interesting thing. Well, overheat? What the fuck? You got a radio? It was like open bills or something? They can only run in certain. They can only run in spurts. You know what I mean? So they can't run long distance. They'll overheat if they run too long. You know what I mean? At that speed. Plus That's why you see them run too. and then they stop. And they don't growl they, to like scare prey away. Like, have yeah. you ever heard the sound of cheetah mix? Yes. It's like a, it's a meow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And not even that. Now, how you doing? My whole childhood. <laughs> 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 I like a meow. Yeah. That's all right. But they they horrible animals to hunt, though. Small mouths, little claws. They just fast. You know what I'm saying? They catch some shit, but. I was going to kill it. She got to fight yeah, on it. My going to be jack up for yeah. it. Yeah. It's over with. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, my give you that. A tiger's legs are so, hind legs are so powerful that they found dead tigers and the leg, the hind legs are still standing like weeks and years later. Mm. Where the legs are still, you know what I mean? The rest of the body gone and the legs are still standing. I need to eat some tiger legs. Man, nigga, what? <laughs> See, that shit's like, we might be eating the wrong shit. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, man, sperm whales are the world's largest predator. I didn't know that. What the, what the fuck do sperm whales, huh? sperm whale. Predators. <laughs> <laughs> See? That's fucking nasty. He was like, nigga, you know what that looked like? I left some <laughs> sperm in a whale at a baby and made a sperm whale. <laughs> Some albatrosses are lesbians. What the fuck is an albatross? I thought that was the uh, sign. Ain't that the and sign? <laughs> it's like a seagull looking bird. Uh. They eat pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Peck pussy. Peck pussy. <laughs> they be feathering the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So, Ty, what you got for us today? Make sure I hit that like button too, man. Smash the like button. Yeah. All right, so the NBA trade deadline is coming up. Um, the Sixers and the Nets are discussing Ben Simmons and James Harden deal ahead of the trade deadline. 
Um, also, CJ McCullum, y'all boy, y'all been talking about, got traded today. He got to where? To the uh, Pacers. I Pelicans. No, I'm sorry, Pelicans. Pelicans. Uh. Pelicans. Pelicans. <laughs> the Pelicans. The Pacers, <laughs> the Pacers <laughs> traded uh, Sabonis and, um, to the Kings. For so Halliburton and Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill. Gerald Burton. Uh, <laughs> 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 Buddy Hill is out of there, too? Yeah, he's out of there. That's crazy. Yeah. I feel sorry for C.J. McCullough, man. Yeah, they, they pushing him on. He would have been good, good with, like, uh, he would have been good somewhere else. He, did, just, he, he thought he's a really good guard, but he needs to play off of a big. Him and a, him is your second best guard. That's not going to be good enough to win off, to win long term. Because no. he's, he's not that tall for it, too. Right. And so, yeah, he, he, he if you team him with the right big, it can work. I thought y'all were saying that he was a, a better point guard. Now he'll get a chance. He's a great point guard. He's an all-star caliber point guard in my book. He's an all-star caliber. But. Problem is, you know, you know he's, not, he's not. He's inconsistent. But I think he's inconsistent because of the style of offense that they run, you know, with Leonard and everything. So what if when uh, Zion come back, do you think that that's going to work? I don't think Zion going to pan out, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Like Zion. Zion. Right, Odin style. But what did I do for Leonard in too early. What did I do for Leonard in there? Well, that they, they blew that team up. <clears throat> yeah, they, they're blowing that up. It's, I think Leonard probably out of there. He's gonna be gone. I think. Right? I hope he's gone. I think right. somebody he, go. he out of there. He too good for that for that organization. Yeah, especially if they broke up them too. You know what I mean? They're not yeah. just gonna, somebody put him with. They put him on the somebody six. going or, or coming. You know what I mean? Yeah. But he gotta I, go. He ain't winning there. Man, I hope he stay and fight. Man, I'm tired of players leaving to join other niggas for championship. Be a dog <laughs> and have niggas come join you. He's not gonna fit nowhere else. He won't be it's remembered. Philly. It's the middle ground with that though. Philly would be a good place, but he's not gonna be he gonna he gonna be a twenty point a game guy and I know twenty seven, twenty eight, whatever you're doing now. It's the middle ground that you don't have to leave and join a super team, but you can leave and go to an organization that's gonna put the right team around you. Portland had what, nine years so far? Exactly. Yeah. But, but they've the been right, doing what they could for the nigga. No. But that, that, they they shown that he's given them like ten years to show that they can do. It hasn't been enough, so Go to an organization that can build a squad. Well, he gonna be at Westbrook then. You know what I mean? No, he might be like if you go to my like just say Miami, Miami can put a, a, a squad around him. They, they already him. have a squad, and he can go right there and make him a championship squad. Miami, yeah, that's he don't have to go to a super team. He's got to go to a team that's really good that needs that that one player <coughs> that can get them over the top. That's, that's all. Miami? That's all. Miami would be a good spot for him. Yeah, like I see is. Miami or Philly being wonderful for Philly. Yeah, yeah, Philly too. Even the Clippers. Chicago. The Clippers too. I, I would trade Jackson for him. I would trade Paul George for him. This nigga. Hell no. Are you niggas Lillard. fucking Lillard. crazy? Never show up in the playoffs that year. Never gonna hit them play. The nigga didn't make the playoffs. Yeah, he did. Yeah. 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 the Lakers. You talking about last year? Yeah. 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 Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I would do that. Clearly, would do that. for Paul George. Would nah, do that. You put, I, you're you put, fucking you crazy. Paul George is better than Lillard. That's all right. Paul George is better than Lillard. No, Lillard. 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 no we don't. No, Kawhi been hurt for uh, two seasons. Yeah. 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 You keep Paul George. Nigga, Paul George led us to the playoffs. Nigga, led us to the second round. Nigga, he's he's a great player. He's top two, top three of small forwards in the NBA. Paul George is fool's gold, man. He's Stop it, man. You got to keep numbers. Come on. He led us to the playoffs, yeah. DeJuan, and it's the team that the Clippers had was the team boo-boo. Still, the team is, the team, no, boo-boo. The team ain't had them all season. They still weren't in the playoffs. No, they went to the playoffs because of him. No, I'm saying this season right now, they had them all season, and they still are not going to the playoffs. So. Paul George got that. He got that. <laughs> I think he got that bad rap from them couple of playoffs. This nigga years. just don't like him. <clears throat> this year, I'm You've been saying, talking this shit about Paul George I'd rather George keep Paul years. George and Trey Kawhi. Trade Kawhi and keep no, Paul George no, and Lillard. You get there. more for Kawhi. I'm with that, right? You don't know how long Kawhi gonna play. How, he's shown us that. Paul you know George what I'm saying? Out for the season too, y'all. He that, got right? the, I, Paul I, George I, did this yeah. season. But this season. You know he missed the season before that. But, 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 he, but he right. missed, he's missed. When was the last time Kawhi played? played? Huh? A full season. <laughs> when he won a championship. How many years ago was that? Two years ago. Three. No, that wasn't two or three. I'm so tired of niggas thinking. I'm so tired hey, of niggas thinking. And I like Kawhi. I'm just saying we, he's not. All he's these not niggas a, are nice, but I'm tired of niggas thinking because a nigga score more than he's better. Paul George does more on a basketball court than Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard is a, a, a impeccable, elite level, Hall of Fame talent. But his main thing is scoring. He can't defend nobody like that. He's not no rebounder like that. He Paul George does more on a basketball court. He's a six ten three that can guard the two through the five, and he's a he's a, he's a irreplaceable talent, bro. He couldn't guard Damian Lillard when he knocked his ass out the playoffs. Remember that a couple years Come ago? On. On he was going to guard Damian Lillard. And then Damian, 
Bye bye. But that's what his point is. That, but that's who can guard Damian Lillard. But that, this, that's the only it, point you I, got. Wait, that he, that he wait, has. I rate players. I rate like okay. When it's when it's pressure time, do you step up? And Damian Lillard, through our whole career, Absolutely. when it comes time to win, he becomes a better He player. hasn't done more than, nigga, he ain't won no championship. If you ain't won a championship, a championship, if you step it up in the Eastern Conference Final, that's cool, but you still ain't got no championship. Well, Paul George has had great teams like an OKC when they had Westbrook and Carmelo and got knocked out by Joe Ingles in Utah. What has Damian Lillard accomplished in the <laughs> NBA <laughs> that Paul George hasn't accomplished? That's but right. you, can you win a championship with Paul George? Yes, you yes, can. You can. I I think so. I yes, you I can. I think you can with Damian Lillard. I think you can. But I don't know if you can with Paul George. So if you can with Damian Lillard, why is he has, CJ McCullough leaving? <laughs> he he has a squad. He I think he's the reason the Clippers lost, lost in the, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, what was it, Western Two years ago, yeah. yeah he was the reason they he lost. He choked. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That series, but that playoff game, Paul George was the first good player. You know, Dame going to show up in the playoffs. I got to give Paul George credit because last year was a first time. Last year was the first time Paul George really ball in the playoffs. The highlight of Dame Lillard's career. Careers knocking uh, Westbrook out the playoff that year and knocking Houston out. Okay, okay, but okay, twice. so but so he did it twice. so you giving him credit for oh, the, but hold on. <laughs> so so he gets credit for the same shit that you don't give DeMar DeRozan and George they credit for. You giving him credit for winning a few playoff series and no, no championship. No, they, they won championships. With, he, won, he ain't got no championships. He, he I mean he won. He beat better teams in the playoffs. When they lost, when they when they beat OKC, OKC had a better squad than Portland did. Nigga, do you are you for Paul George went head to head with LeBron and gave him all he can handle before the injury? Do it like this, D. If you take away, if you take away Damian Lillard's shooting ability, what else can he bring to the table? You got to take away shit though. Pass. Dribbling. dribbling. <laughs> you don't have to take away nothing. <laughs> Paul George can shoot too. <laughs> take away his legs. Uh, what nigga gonna do on the court? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> I, know, I know that. Nigga ain't got no elbows. I ain't gonna shoot. <laughs> I got no elbows. What are you gonna do? <laughs> <Play on it. laughs> I, I just can't forget that year in Utah back when Donovan uh, Mitchell was a rookie and Paul George had that squad that averaged four points a game in the first round. Yeah. And Joe Ingles. Yeah. Uh, Joe Ingles, I bought that nigga to game seven. Like, Ingles, how you get knocked out Paul, by Joe Ingles? Uh, Paul <laughs> George has been in the playoffs damn near his entire career. So Damian Lillard. Uh, but what I'm saying is, what? why <laughs> does Damian <laughs> Lillard get credit? But Paul George don't. Because when it because you came, don't you know, like him, no, nigga. I, I, don't, I don't like any man. I don't like any man. Let's make that very clear. I don't like none of these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> they they got jobs that I just watched them go to work. The reason why I put Damian Lillard above Paul George is because in the playoffs, when it came time to win, Damian Lillard has consistently shown up and played better in the playoffs than he did in the regular season. Versus Paul George, Paul George got all the numbers all season, but the minute the playoffs come. Other than That's last not what, year, oh. other than last year. No, no, when he was with the Pacers, uh, he, he, he when he was with the Pacers, game, nigga. That's before he broke his leg. That's what I'm saying. What That's before he broke about? his leg. That's before he broke his leg, though. But I'm saying, it all counts, though. And after he broke his leg, that's what we compared him on. I don't you know understand I mean? why <laughs> Paul, Paul George has had a better – look, if you take stats and what he does on the court – He's better than what Scottie Pippen was without Jordan when it was just Scottie Pippen on the Bulls. Well, well, His numbers said, are better. I just said Paul George's number. I just said that. Paul George he's is a, is a, fur, he's a Hall of Famer. I don't, I don't look at numbers because I hated math when I was in school. I watched basketball. Like When I watched the games, they go, Damian Litter has consistently played better in big moments. That's all I'm saying. I don't, I don't read stat sheets. They go, stats is boring. That shit was horrible. I want to go back to that class. Yeah. Watch basketball. What else you got for us, Ty? Oh, shit. What up, man? That nigga Blaze took a nap when we started talking about sports. That nigga know how to smile in his sleep, dude. That nigga had to reboot. That nigga had to reboot. That nigga had to reboot. Blaze reads the stock updates in his glasses. That nigga tired of that sleepy aroma and shit coming out the back of his head. All right. All Sleepy aroma? Sleepy aroma. You got aromas? Oh. That's another big word, That's another big word, man. What aroma is that you're wearing? Alright, man. Um, shit, um, what did I have? The next shit that I had was uh, LeBron when he came back. You know, he came back, uh, I think it was Sunday, played against the Knicks. He balled out. They didn't even know he was coming back. So, I had to report on that. What <laughs> they do with Russell Westbrook? <laughs> they bitch <laughs> him, him in overtime. But, you Sit know, his ass down. The nigga had eight turnovers. If that's what it takes. If that's what it takes. Yeah, Malik Monk is Malik Monk is bitch his ass. Yeah. <laughs> You, you play the best people at the best time, you know, whoever gives you the best chance to win. 
Right. I think they should need Sounds to take good. Out. They would have never took LeBron, ever. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but if LeBron was having a bad game, never. he still would have been in the but game. But isn't it LeBron's 18? fault that we're having a terrible season? Always, whoever the star is. It ain't right never on. LeBron. Nothing is ever LeBron James' no. fault. No, no it's, it's the always the star's fault. fault. No, the not, stars not, is not if you time. if you lose it, time. Time's different. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to get out. But if you losing and your team is losing, it's always on the stars' back. It doesn't matter who it is, bro. I'm not LeBron. Not LeBron. Not LeBron. According to the media, oh, we keep talking about Russell Westbrook. This is LeBron's team. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, Russell Westbrook is a nigga. He just four turnovers. Nigga, <laughs> how is it not LeBron's fault, hey, bro? You know, the crazy, you know the crazy part about it was Russell Westbrook has been like this his whole, whole career. career. Mm -hmm. His whole career, he's taking bad shots. Yeah. His whole career, he's brick fucking three pointers off the side of the backboard. But when he was on, when he was team with Durant, they was like, man, Durant, do, do. yeah, yeah, Russell Westbrook, they're blaming Durant. Exactly. I'm like, you, how, how could he win this nigga that take all these bad shots? Oh, man, but then they go, but look at the numbers. I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. Same thing happened in Houston. They was blaming James Harden. Right. I mean, they remember they had when James Harden had Russell Westbrook. They were saying yeah, James yeah, Harden yeah. can't win. He got he got an All Star. Why can't you win with an All Star? Everywhere this nigga go, it's never his fault. Okay, see this motherfucker. They 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 made the playoffs, but he had Carmelo Anthony and Paul George, and the reason why they didn't get out that first round really was because Westbrook took a fuck ton of bad shots. He's always been this way. They right. told that nigga don't shoot. They were like, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll get you a triple double, but he will. Fuck That's your why shit Kobe off. was a dog because Kobe took it all on his back. It's always my fault. Kobe was a hog like that, man. Look, I don't know, man. I would, I couldn't play with LeBron if he I was. He said that when we had Kobe was always Kobe's fault. We had Kwame Brown and Chris Parker. One year. Yeah, when when Shaq was out of shape, it was Kobe's fault. Mm -hmm. Kobe. Everything was Kobe's fault. When he was in L.A., you knew it was Shaq was out of shape. You gotta have a scapegoat. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You gotta have a scapegoat in L.A. Yeah, this Kobe nigga, was a scapegoat. This nigga yeah. Shaq waited till like the week before the season started to have a surgery that he knew he needed at the end of last <laughs> <Yeah>. season. <laughs> and he still no playing Kobe. Yeah. <laughs> Do you agree with in 2003. The, Do you agree with the fans booing uh, Westbrook? Yes. Yeah. Nah. Like, I'm, if I paid, what, how much is it, $100 a ticket? Yeah. Fuck you, nigga. You, gonna, you Make booing somebody on your team? Yeah. You know what? That's See, crazy. Have, have you grew up watching Lakers basketball? Yeah. Sorry, Lakers like Shaq got booed? Yeah, Shaq got booed. Remember, yeah. remember when they played against yeah. Portland and Shaq wasn't running back on defense yeah. in 1998, that game? <laughs> yeah. They was booing the shit out of Shaq. Like, nigga, when Kobe had got that little rape case and they, when they, yeah. they, they booed him then. Yeah. And they... And they booed Kobe again when he uh, when Shaq got traded. They were yeah. like, "You the reason Shaq got traded." Right. Kobe got booed for like the first month of that season. Yeah. Damn, then LA he dropped eighty one. Then niggas was like, "All right." After the eighty one, yeah. after the eighty one, yeah. niggas was like, "All right, Kobe." But before the eighty one, niggas was on that Kobe's head. That's true. L.A. fans. L.A. fans is like that. They're vicious. Kobe played through the pressure and got better. Yeah. A lot of motherfuckers fold. A lot of motherfuckers couldn't handle the pressure. Kobe got better and better. And better, man. That's why you can't compare LeBron to him. Yeah, talent-wise, LeBron is one of the best you've yeah. ever seen. Talent. -wise. I'm not taking him over Kobe. You crazy? Guess what? <laughs> but hold on. Guess what? Kobe had LeBron didn't have Art. a father. Yeah. Exactly. That's. I think. I think that's a lot of what LeBron is missing. <coughs> I agree. Having a pop growing because it's certain shit. You know what I'm saying? Like just mentally, your daddy gonna put in you. Your mama can't. You, you don't even know when true. you're being a bitch sometimes if you ain't had a father. Yeah. That's true. Sometimes niggas be on bitch shit and they don't even know. That's true. Yeah, so, yeah, man, I, I, I agree, man. You know what I'm saying? You're taking Kobe over LeBron. All day long. LeBron didn't even I, have... I wouldn't do that. <coughs> I'm Le taking LeBron. LeBron didn't have a father or a coach. Or an afro. Like, He's had coaches, nigga. Ne chill. No, yeah. Kobe had Phil Jackson. Who did LeBron have? LeBron doesn't play. Tyron Lue is a Hall of Fame coach. Tyron Lue is another black coach. Tyron Lue is a Hall of Fame coach. No, he's not. We compare him to He got more championships than George Carl. We compare him to Phil Jackson. He got more championships than George Carl. He's a Hall of Famer. Do we got more than Phil Jackson? Tyron Lue is a better coach than George Carl. George Carl could have coached. Yeah, LeBron. George Carl has had squads and lost, didn't win anything. Nigga, he had. He has. He has squads in Milwaukee. He has squads in Sonics. He has squads. The finals. And they didn't even make the playoffs one year with Milwaukee when the East was whack. They had Ray Allen, Vin Baker, they didn't even make the playoffs that one year. What'd you say? Him. How many years did Teron Lue coach Kobe? I don't know. I mean, did LeBron coach? I mean, did Teron Lue coach LeBron? Did he got a championship one year coach team? One year. Two. How many Two. years did Phil Jackson coach Kobe? <laughs> nigga, 10. Phil right. Jackson. Right. 10. This nigga never had a high school, I mean, a college coach, nothing. LeBron he had it's, we, it's not about one credible coach. Phil, Phil Jackson ain't the reason why Kobe learned all those skill sets. But Kobe it's learned a hell of a skill set before Phil. It's a hell of a skill set. You know what Kobe would do also before Phil even got there? 
The nigga would spend the offseason calling. He would call Greg Popovich. Like, if, he, if it was something that his coach couldn't give him, Kobe would get on the phone and call a coach who could give it to him. So, in the NBA, you can't blame that. Them niggas got I'm not blaming no. it. But I'm See, saying, that's, that's if LeBron had a Phil follow, Jackson, he wouldn't man. have a – if LeBron had Phil Jackson and Shaq, the one. that nigga wouldn't have had a great and career. He had LeBron to, he had couldn't right handle right. Phil Jackson. Yeah, 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 thank you, Blaze. Yeah. No, he, he couldn't handle it. was coaches. What? Okay. LeBron can handle Phil Jackson. Ain't let no player run over him, nigga. So Phil can handle Jackson. Had, Phil Jackson didn't nobody read their stats. No, LeBron. Quarters. He's not Phil having Jackson that. Let that happen. Phil if you pull out your stats. How many times have you heard of a coach calling out LeBron James in the media? You know how often Phil Jackson was calling out Shaq and Kobe? Wait, he time. was being confrontational and disrespectful with these niggas. How, how many times have you heard a coach doing that with LeBron James? So why so wouldn't he do it to Why wouldn't he do it to LeBron? LeBron ain't built that way, bro. LeBron tried to get him. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We ain't got a coach to do it. Before we go to coaches, nigga, Eric Spoelstra is a Hall of Fame coach. But he's not Phil Jackson. Eric Spoelstra is a Hall of Fame coach. He's not Phil Jackson. Of course, and he didn't win. He didn't win till he got, chips, he, he yeah, got he LeBron. Got but no, no. Yeah. He Eric Spoelstra, Eric Spoelstra won defensive co won coach of the year without LeBron, and he's been the best defensive coach in the NBA. But, one of the top three defensive coaches for the last fifteen. But years. why did he get the job? Before LeBron. Because, why did he get the job? Because he was staying out of LeBron's way. Yeah. He didn't get the job because he was the most qualified coach for it. The nigga was a motherfucking film he guy. Do, do you know why? On the, the sideline. Do, do you know yeah, why? Yeah, Mario Chalmers ass out. Do you know why LeBron <laughs> left Miami? Why? LeBron, it, 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 this is a story you can hear. <laughs> Phil, for you LeBron dick riders, y'all can go back and listen to, uh, y'all can listen to Pat Ronnie said it himself. <laughs> this motherfucker Pat Ronnie said in 2015, LeBron came to him and was like, because Spolstra was a hard-nosed coach. He was like, I don't like this dude. Get him up out of here. And Pat Ronnie told LeBron, we'll get rid of you before we get rid of this coach. And that's why LeBron went back to Cleveland. From Pat Ronnie himself. That's a real but going back to what uh, yeah, Craig was saying, the nigga couldn't handle a real coach. <laughs> but he we, couldn't handle Spolstra. But we ain't seen it. Bro. We <laughs> ain't, but that was and year that's, one that's, in Miami. That's that was year great. four, nigga. Yeah. No, that happened, no, that happened year four. All right. I but said 2015 is when it happened. What I'm oh, saying oh, is oh, the, oh, amount, oh, the oh, amount of success that LeBron has, Phil Jackson would have been an incredible Kobe? incentive. You know what I mean? We on Kobe dick. Are you what? fucking crazy? <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? These East Richie Coast niggas, there, yeah. man. What do you say? And they Kobe slander. He's got Carl Winslow in him. Carl Winslow raised him. Of course, you got Chris Bosch and Wade. Yo, Kobe. Yo, Kobe dick. Y'all Kobe dick, nigga. That's what he said, nigga. Phil, yeah. Phil Jackson, though. Phil Jackson, like, if we gonna, if we going to hold LeBron to a standard, let's hold Phil Jackson to a standard. Is Phil Jackson really that dope of a coach? He yeah. had Jordan. And he had and he had Kobe and Shaq. Me, Has he done it with Doug Collins somebody Jordan, regular? George, Doug no. Collins had prime Jordan. He didn't win championships. But he, what else, <laughs> what else I mean, he done? Like, Doug Collins had prime Jordan. He didn't win championships. Phil Jackson is a gene. Everywhere the nigga went, he won. So we coach can't matters say if you listen. If, 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 coach matters if you won. listen to the coach. But if you have a reputation by the coaches and not listening to the coach, it don't matter. But that, that that's that's the coach's issue. If you the coach, nigga, you got to get me in line or get me out of here. You know what I'm saying? But you a grown ass so, man. Can't nobody every, get you in line. You got to get yourself in line. So you saying you saying <laughs> every grown ass man coach can't handle LeBron? None of them niggas. None of his coaches. Well, that's show, well if, if if you if you have if you have one common denominator amongst a, 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 broad, a broad group of people, the common denominator is, not, is the problem, not the people. So it would be the same way. That's Phil, just math. Is Phil Jackson not the common denominator with with Shaq and Kobe and, and Jordan? Mean, he's no, a, no. He, Tex Winters LeBron is the common denominator. <laughs> Tex Winters. Tex Phil Jackson's not but a better coach this, than Popovich. Though. Let me tell you why Phil Jackson could he coach beat LeBron. Popovich. Let me tell you why he could coach LeBron. Phil Jackson coached Dennis Rodman when nobody could talk yeah, to that nigga. That when nobody couldn't even like he but was. That was fucking. What you doing after the game? Hey. He pulled you out the game early. Rest up. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> but just think about that. Like, like you know what I'm talking about. Then that's when Rodman was bad boy. Rodman coming yeah. from the Spurs. They thought his career was over. That's right. And nobody then, can do nothing with this nigga. Too, then he could. Then he went to where? Yeah. Went right to fucking uh to uh, the nigga. Feel like look. I'm gonna let the nigga wear dresses. I'm gonna let the nigga do what he do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he gotta know it's about winning here. He can't yeah, yes, man, you gotta. That thing with Phil Jackson, you okay, gotta follow yeah. Phil's program. <laughs> but when you follow a program like the Triangle, you're gonna sacrifice numbers. You're not gonna have these gaudy stats. Yeah. You're gonna have to do things off the ball that aren't accounted for by stats. And then both LeBron fans, what's y'all love his stats? So he would have won more championships. But he would have way less stats than what the fuck we all been talking about then. But we don't know. Now let's go back to me. What about LeBron is the greatest broad talent besides Shaquille O'Neal and Will Chamberlain 
that I've ever seen play hoop. But bro, I'm not debating the I nigga's agree. talent. I agree with it's that. just mentality, man. It, I, I feel like he's so talented that it's difficult to hold him accountable. You feel what I'm saying? This is me. This and, so he like spree well in some kind of a way? Nah, he way nah, I'm talking about far as like, like, like who like he was Tom to the Brady. team. And, and I'm saying Tom like Brady. that nigga like do what he wanted to do. But to, 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 nigga to, to, the snap, coach. to Snap's point, he, <laughs> he had to have a coach, quote unquote, a coach coming up. So yeah, he doesn't. He, he, oh, no, no, I'm talking about before that. Saw that not shaking hands at the end of the game, all of that shit. I don't like that shit. I feel like nobody yeah. ever checked him on that. And so he carries that, that kind of behavior. He faked the hand injury after Durant knocked him out the playoff. Remember that cast he put on? It was like, I broke oh, my finger, I broke my hand. <laughs> yeah. And then the next day on Instagram, dunking with his kid. Like, uh, nigga, fuck you. That's the shit I don't respect. Like, yeah, why I don't, you fake? I just seen this same cast and dunk because somebody's talking shit. Niggas that come out and say, nigga, what? I, I still got it. That nigga broke like, his hand and picked up his uh, picked up a purse and walked out. Uh, it's fucked up. Yeah, one more for us. Or the- <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the uh, the Miami Dolphins team that was getting sued by uh, Brian Flores, they got out there and made the first quote unquote <laughs> diversity hire. Goddamn right. Of the uh, tell them what they are. Of the cycle. Doogie House. Yeah, they, 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 hired, they hired the, the mixed dude from uh, San Francisco that we were talking about the other day. So, yeah, nigga. And so instead of hiring, <laughs> really, yeah. Uh, and they, and they got the wine him. can't stand him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what you gonna do when Talib Kweli run up on you? Hey. Oh, <laughs> they come in with that uh, speech impediment. Told uh, me uh, <laughs> You better be that nigga knows some shit, man. What the little midget gonna do? <laughs> that should be funny to the motherfucker, man. He, he ain't run. He can't run up on you till you run up on Kanye. Kanye yeah. went in on that. Yeah, Kanye oh, did go in on that. He did. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Kanye. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. You don't know everything. <laughs> he got that nigga. Yeah, Kanye. Kanye was like, yeah. he's not even a good rapper. Yeah. Remember on uh, oh, Drake Oh, well, that's yeah. not true. Kanye. That nigga, yeah. Tad Lee, like, got like bars. I your verses on none of my beats. <laughs> that's what he said? Yeah. Yeah. Like, them shits are trash. I was like, all right, that's the homie. Kanye or, or Talib Kweli? That'd be a good girl fight. Head of Faith? He said that'd be a good girl fight. Talking about Head of Faith? Yeah, now I was talking about who would you rather listen Here's the thing. I would to never bet against Kanye West. Ever. That's an incredible human. That nigga does shit where I'm like, how are you doing? The bit, nigga, you're supposed to be a bitch-ass nigga, but everything is working. <laughs> yeah, you understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, everything yeah, 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 is working. Yeah. yeah. So obviously I'm wrong about that. He's not. And look, Kanye, if you're watching this, the average everyday black African American male, ha- ha- you, we like this is a bitch ass nigga. Not because we write, right. because you see some shit that we ain't privy to. So kudos to you, man. Because the way you get down, it wouldn't go over in most rooms. But the shit like, is working, my nigga. Works. You know what it is with that nigga, man. Like I say all the time, man. That nigga got. Audacity. Yeah, that's it. That's true. Because if you think about it, every uh, everybody done had somebody on top of them, you know, bosses, supervisors, and they all been some bitch ass niggas. You know what I'm saying? People Straight in up. nice positions, they always been bitch ass niggas. Where you've been like, I should have that spot. I do this and that. And they just got the audacity to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And and but but uh, but we got to give it up, like you said. What, you got to, bro. Evidence, that's man. Like that. Like you got. People spend so much time being mad at what they see instead of looking at what they see. You, yeah. And you can judge, you can you can talk about it and give your point of view. That's one thing. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Right. But you look at somebody like a Kanye, somebody like Trump. Right. These are people who, when you look at them, they ain't what they say, right. but they believe it to the point to where they get right. everyone else around to bend yeah. to their will. That shit. Works. And that's a, that's that's the power. When like when the Bible say yeah. all them Bible stories about worshiping Jesus, yeah. it's really about worshiping yourself and making the world it, bend to what is. you do. Gotta, these motherfuckers are living examples. And, we don't and, even like and, it. and it's funny. It's I, it, it sucks that we program this way, right? But w- uh, the average human is programmed to where if they don't like somebody or something they did, that they don't want the truth to be right. Mm-hmm. They want how they feel to be right. Man, right, right. you feel what I'm saying? And what I'm learning true. from Kanye is like. Oh, I got to look at myself. Maybe I got some bitch ass ways. Maybe right. I think maybe I think that what I think is too dope. Right. Because what he's doing is contrary to what we would view as being real nigga behavior. And, and the world is following and is getting this nigga economic gain that 
it would take a hundred thousand means to get right now. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? It's like my nigga, you, we gotta get, we gotta get over this bullshit that we was raised on, where we think our way is the way. It's really our way gets us to where we're at, but to get to that next level, right. there's other ways you gotta walk, and the way we've been walking ain't how you get to a Kanye's right. level. You, you know what I'm saying? Reality, man. And everybody, yeah. the people used to love Kanye, and I don't, you know what I'm saying? We used to really rock with Kanye. I still rock with Kanye. I think that he's dope on the MC level just for Through the Wire. You know what I'm saying? Doing a, a whole song with your jaw wire shit. Uh, ain't nobody else got that kind of MC tenacity to do that. That shit right. in the motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. I, that, that's, that's <clears throat> but, the thing like with Kanye. He, like, he, he, he keeps moving. The, I haven't really listened to Kanye's music like close in over 10 years. Me. I don't really like much of what he's come out personally, but I, I can separate what I like from what I see what he's doing. Right, he's right. doing things to move the sound of music forward. Right. And he's, un he's he's always willing to try something different. And as an artist, you know, I like artists that jump around. I, I ain't got to dig it to appreciate it for what it is. It's business, man. And it's business, his business is working. It's, 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 for example, I can't stand Show's beard. That shit is raggedy. It's unkempt. It smells. But that nigga funny. <laughs> that nigga's fucking hilarious, man. You know what I'm saying? I can't not laugh at his jokes because of that shitty beard. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you know, we got to pay attention to the bottom line. And the bottom line is this nigga funny. No, I understand that, man. Even though your uh, breath smell like a bus muffler, my nigga. Uh, a bus muffler. <laughs> I just you know? compliment you, man. You go bombing with this bullshit. <laughs> Man, this juice is good, man. Shout out to this juice. That shit had me on a uh, on a level for a long ass time. You gonna leave him hanging? You gonna leave him hanging? Oh, my nigga, bro. My bad. <laughs> 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 no, bad. No, pause. No, no, but what y'all said? No, what you, but, <laughs> but on a, what you got for a show, man? So what I got for y'all, man? Uh, <laughs> Black 100, man. He said that uh, Suge Knight had him uh, go in a uh, Jimmy Iovine house. You know what I mean? Uh, so Black 100, he got, he, got, he got sent? Uh -huh, yeah, I guess so. That's what they said. Man, listen to the story. Yeah. <laughs> get your Mike, shit off. Mike, Mike, yeah, yeah, get your shit off, Suge. I'm the one that heard the story. He said, you know what I'm saying? Story, like I did. <laughs> nah, <laughs> no reading at all. <laughs> nah, it, it, was, it was actually a, a voice memo. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was on YouTube. You dig yeah, me? You nah, go. but basically, Wack 100 was uh, saying how Suge Knight had sent uh, some goons to go ahead and uh, go to Jimmy I. Veen house for some money. That was old. You dig what I'm saying? And uh, it's just funny. <laughs> Suge Knight. It's always a Suge Knight story always coming out. Still to these days, it's like, dang, ain't we heard everything? Like, it's, it's really not no new news to us. To you know, that's why I respect him because Suge Knight, man, he got people they bread. You know what right. I mean? And he and he and he didn't just like he has a reputation. He he got a lot of niggas stumped out. We all know that in the clubs, but right. he didn't. I, I I'm I'm cool with that if you go with them folks too. Right. Suge Knight had a reputation. It didn't matter who it was, right. white, black, whatever. If they fucked with him and they fuck with your money, he went at them. There's too many niggas out here who He didn't go at Master P. Huh? He didn't go at Master P. They said they talked that out. But I'm, 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 I'm Let me tell you, I don't, go, go, don't no rather, bully want to die. I, I'd rather, I, I, <laughs> don't <laughs> no bully want to die. And I at really, the end of the day, nigga, if it's repercussions behind fucking with me, you're P. not going to fuck with me. There, there, was some country, P, there was some country What you niggas, mean? They don't play that shit. You heard what P said, said, right? No, it was a reason. What? What you mean? It was a reason. It was a reason. Snoop. That nigga called P and said, nigga, this town ain't big enough for the both of us. And P said, well, move? I just bought a house here. So that means you got, I guess you got to move then, nigga. Yeah. Master P, homie. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, straight like that. Remember, he from Mob, so he <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 He trying to defend the hood right now. <laughs> 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 I don't feel like y'all were Pasadena. <laughs> 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 I know it's too much. I know it's too much. That's counter. I'm with you. I'm not saying it then. I'm just saying everybody got stories now, though. Yeah. Right. When, when yeah, Shug was out, we didn't hear none of this shit. No, and man. it was a perfect time to tell these stories. Because yeah. he's still out here. He can say, nah, no, I didn't. All oh, that happened. That's but true. But we got to wait till a nigga called him in jail. Did this not? That's what I'm saying. Like, it's a lot of stories coming. That's a nigga. On some shit with paperwork talking about yeah, Tupac was uh more 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 uh more stronger than Shug when it came to <laughs> what are you talking about, my nigga? Yeah, that's the thing like, like, like Shug, you gotta, it's Shug, different now. Shug went at every he went at Easy E and but he Jerry Heller. 
He went at Jerry Heller. Now he's eating Jerry Heller. Yeah. He went at Jerry Heller. He went at he went at Jimmy Iovine. And that be the problem with a lot of niggas these days. They go at another nigga real hard. But the right. minute them folks come around, you see it right now the Joe Rogan situation. Oh no, massive. Not not massive. <coughs> he good. Let him Joe Rogan. Do something they want to flex. Yeah. You know, like if you gonna flex, flex at everybody. Yeah, but Dewan, that ain't realistic. Should have just did it. No man. At the end of the day, them people, them Jewish people, they run this shit, my nigga. Oh, exactly. Ain't no they nigga. I don't give a fuck wrong. how much of a gangster you are. You're not going at them folks here. You may say a little goofy shit here and there, but you ain't sending nobody right. at them like that, my nigga. It's not happening. Man, that's what I mean by the, by the, the, the what's my nigga name? White 100. White 100. Like, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like, it's like, we don't, you wasn't, or you wasn't, we would never, like, it's too many niggas that'll go do that, that ain't got no paperwork with them. So why would he send you? Yeah. That's, you know what I'm saying? You, you all in yeah. with that. That's not what, what niggas yeah. would've did. So I just know that's not even who niggas sent. This yeah. niggas that was up here, nigga that he was talking to, that's not even from the Compton or nothing, that would go do that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And plus, Jimmy Ivey and the shit was like this. Why would he send you? They just go have dinner like bosses do and talk, nigga. Right. So like that, it's a it's a it's a whole like stigma about shit. Like he was just some yeah, mafia he's a, down he's and a then, brilliant when guy, bro. When, when, when he went brilliant. down, he was ready to beat niggas yeah, up. Now nah, when they, nigga like half that shit, he was a business. They was talking it was business. Like the bro, nigga, I want to go what you say. You right? I agree with you. You're not gonna go with them folks at that. Not on I'm, no I'm, military no, no. level type I'm, I'm shit. I'm with, not I'm with you on that, but that's why I always. That's why I don't go at other black people like that. Yeah, I my feel. thing is this: don't, if you if you gonna go at people, go at everybody. But we talking or about don't street. go at nobody. But here's but the thing: mean, I agree with you if it's niggas like us. But we talking about street niggas. We talking about street niggas. So that's a completely yeah. different code. That, that whole situation is predicated upon you know playing on the week, right? You know what I'm saying so. There ain't a bunch of strong niggas. That's the yeah. whole. Everything behind that shit is based. That's on why I don't respect it. Right, real talk. I don't respect that. I don't. I don't, I don't respect most of this because if you going, if you over here, you you just stronger than another victim. All right, cool. You got you got your little bread, but I don't. I don't really. Somebody respect said like whack that. and informant. I don't think whack is an informant. I think just think he trolling. Yeah, I don't think, I think he that, give a fuck. Yeah, I think, I think he, he trolling. Uh, yeah, trolling. Like you said, he man. trolling. He don't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah, At you, some point, you ain't scared of shit, my nigga. Right. And it's like, okay, well, I mean, if I'm thinking like whack, what Master P gonna do, nigga? I'll right. say what the fuck I want to say. Uh, yeah. who, who who gonna do something? Sugar, you gonna nigga? Come on, what? Whatever the consequences is, right. I'm ready for him. Right. And, and Master, uh, Master P and, might do what he want him to do. Yeah, I mean, shit. Call him up and set a dinner. Oh man, that's all I want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, working, I'm working on this movie, man. But yeah. if yeah. you yeah. yeah. been around. That's One thing, if, if you've been around killers, man, they don't they don't be in fear like regular motherfuckers right. like that. It ain't no fear about what the next man gonna do. It's really a principal lifestyle when you're a killer. Like, okay, did this motherfucker do some shit that I don't like? And do he deserve to be here? Yeah, because you gotta live with that shit. That's how they think. They don't, like, them niggas who be stone cold niggas that's, that didn't been in the game like that, they don't have, they got a conscience. There's some good niggas as killers out there, but they not thinking about what you going to do. Right. It's about, nigga, what I'm ready to do. Yeah, because if a nigga was that smart, he wouldn't be doing that in the first place. Right, you know right, right, straight up. Yeah, like we talked about the county jail shit, you know. Niggas always talking about how they been through, the, you know, the modules and this and that. If a nigga want to impress me, man, tell me you was a non-affiliate. And went through that. Philly didn't walk through that shit with yeah, your head. the main up. line, nigga. I ain't yeah. from nowhere. Uh, nowhere. Yeah. But I know Kappa Waiter, though, blood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, be You ain't from nowhere, but you still say blood. <laughs> yeah, I know yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Like me, I if I go to the county jail, I don't have no choice. As soon as they know I'm from Pasadena, a bunch of Pasadena niggas gonna know who I am, Straight and that's where I gotta go. Yeah, and it, gotta but go. in a Compton, they gonna look at me. Oh, he from PDL or he from whatever. I'm like, no, nah, I don't bang. They I, who you with? You know, that's just that lifestyle, man. You got gang bangers and gang affiliates, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> affiliates. And they gonna yeah. affiliate your ass, too. Yeah, Especially when you go to the county. Ass. That's the they, first thing niggas do. Yeah. Nigga, where you from? Nowhere? Where your mama live? Yeah. 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 And, and you gotta hang out with them niggas. Yeah, what school you went to? And then that's it, right there. What's the name you niggas over there? Uh, <laughs> right go talk to that nigga. You probably wanna get on this bottom bunk. Yeah. Do not wanna go to jail. What else you got for a show? All right, man. So New York, man, they uh basically um you know music is you know basically going on forever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's, what's forever show? Forever in a day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, right, right. right. Back, like, back there looking like Ella Fitzgerald. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my. Like elephant Gerald. <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, that nigga said elephant. <laughs> 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 yeah. like, cir- like a circus security guard, that motherfucker. Yeah, Fuck yeah. you, nigga. <laughs> that nigga said elephant. <laughs> They sit back there look like Auntie Otto. <laughs> <laughs> Tweedle Todd, Tweedle uh, Show. Uh-huh. Like Twiddly, 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 Dumb. Just say, <laughs> like, if you don't get them Wild Wild West glasses up out of here, my nigga, Burger King, you Happy Meal, Have an Ass, nigga. You don't soak your um, beard in coconut oil. You <laughs> <laughs> look like a cold ass church tambourine player. He do. He do. He do. He do. He do. <laughs> 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 That nigga's be good in church. Jamie. This sister in the church be getting that temper. Right? Auntie was one of those. Yeah. He, 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 he got one of them sisters in the church. Yeah. 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 That nigga be in church turning around doing this to people. <laughs> Pastor's talking. <laughs> I used to hate that motherfucker that stays shit you in your ch- in church. And they only show up on single Mother Monday. <laughs> <laughs> he looking like a male praise dancer. Oh, that, <laughs> <laughs> that nigga said a male. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga start dancing after a crescendo. <laughs> With the uh, material hanging from the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did they used to wear all white when they praised dance at y'all church? Yeah, yeah. 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 What, what, was that, what, what was that for? Those praise dancers ain't nothing but safe strippers. <laughs> <laughs> you think right, but look like. What, one of the crazy, just a poetry. You might, I think it's a show purity by me. Bro. Purity. One of the praise dancers at my church got smashed, and the uh, the music director, like, they had, the, they got kicked out of church. Kicked out of really? church? Yeah, because the music director and the praise dancer was smashing each other. So the pastor was like, "Y'all got you know, for fucking?" Because that was his pussy first. Yeah, I had a problem. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga think he's slick. You know, I seen y'all in there. Everybody in the church except the kids is fucking. <laughs> Everybody right above 12. And you going to kick a motherfucker out because they doing, they consensual yeah. with those. That's what, 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 the, 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 the was married, so I guess, oh. you know, and he was cheating on his wife with the, with the praise dancer. But uh, don't, don't kick me out, Pastor. Yeah. Help me. Well, save me. I'm here. I'm already right here. I'm where I need to be. Don't kick me out. I'm here. That was his pussy. I'm sorry. It's happening under your roof. Help me out. But that's the best place to get some pussy, though, church, man. It is. It is. Of course. They they be in there searching for hope. Yeah. You know what I mean? You just, (laughs) yeah. I gotta be right there. (laughs) (laughs) You ever get, you ever get up in church and give a bullshit testimony? (laughs) Nah, I give a made up testimony. This guy like, I never. I used to be on crack and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was on everything. You know, she wasn't working out this week, but you know, God can't do it. Yeah, what do you do? Now? I feel like God can't do it. I feel like Duncan got up. I feel like Duncan got up and cried in front of the church. No, 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 no. <laughs> Take your time. Take your time. <laughs> My, uh, no. my auntie was a, she's a preacher, so she brought us up there, you know what I mean? She nigga knocking niggas out. Blue. <laughs> <laughs> it's a me, nigga. You know, all that nigga. Nigga, what the fuck is going on? I'm looking around, she keep pushing me, nigga. Uh. Nigga, she went, boy, if you don't fall back. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh, 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 oh. Push your nigga forward and you got to ride. Nah, boy, you don't fall. That nigga fell like this. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, oh. Well, that nigga, oh. Yeah. That holy ghost. Like, man. Ben, benediction is when a church play trust. No, Because you got to fall back and wait for a nigga to catch you. Yeah, you don't know yeah. they going to catch man. you or not. Man, especially if a nigga not looking, he bullshitting up. It's always one, one, it's one, always one <laughs> usher. <laughs> wow. Oh. It's always one usher that don't be looking. Yeah, yeah, you see that shit. Yeah. You get the slow yeah. usher, the one... <laughs> What's the most the you ever? Put, what's the most you ever put in the offering basket? 
took out. <laughs> this nigga Dewan finna say some astronomical shit. No, I, wasn't, I think the most. He was all in. I was all in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that nigga, no, no, that I, nigga I, dropped in a few coupons one yeah. time. <laughs> 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 yeah. This the two for one. That nigga put a bag of bones, sugar yeah. bones. <laughs> 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 a bag of bones. <laughs> Usually I don't do this. But, uh, I normally keep the marrow, but y'all can have that. <laughs> you know, you know what you know it was? <laughs> you know what it was? <laughs> I put in, I put in fifteen hundred. Whoa! What the fuck was you trying yeah. to? Yeah. Yeah. This, was, this was back like I was like I was twenty. Who I was in the church real heavy. But you know, but they was no. You give ten percent. Right, right. You give ten percent. So you had made fifteen thousand. Yeah, no, I made like twenty. I made like twenty grand for my uh, commission. You, you cheated God. I cheated God. I, I felt guilty because I didn't give God the whole two thousand. I gave him fifteen hundred. Oh, bro. You like gave that nigga fifteen. I gave nigga fifteen hundred back in two thousand one. I was all into that shit back in the day. I gave twenty five and felt good. Yeah, and then she. I gave fifteen hundred. What, uh, what? What do you think your total? <laughs> In your church career, what do you think the total of all the money you've given all together would equal if we added it all up? Uh, about, about, about 10, 15,000. God damn. I'm probably around that. I'd probably Less. say a couple Bro, thousand. I'm going to get my $60, nigga. Because <laughs> when I was going to church, I was getting dollars to get put in there. You know what I'm saying? I, I would put my own money. I stopped giving when I was like 23, 24. Yeah. I stopped giving when I was like 24, but I was still giving back when that mortgage market was hot. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? That's when I stopped because I was like, nigga, yeah. Yeah, I make the money whether I gave or not. Wait yeah. a minute. God put 15000 in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, no, 20000 You corrected us. Uh -huh. He put 20000 in your pocket and all you gave back was 1500 I gave the Lord 1500 And oh, I was like, man, shit. Jesus. Yo, Lord. Yo, praise God, <laughs> motherfucking Jesus! Hey, let me tell you something. Your whole church career, Todd. How much you think you gave cumulative? Probably fifteen hundred. Damn, oh, wow. y'all niggas I mean, balling. Cumulative? Yeah. Cumulative. Yeah. Whole life. Whole life. So you talking about tithings, yeah. eighty? That nigga gave a dollar a session. That nigga said six. I'm still at six. Dollar a session. How much? How much, yo? This nigga probably like none, really, because. Like when I was in Sunday school, bro. You on the money. We oh. <laughs> Probably none, really. See, we've been broke since I was two. We finally got welfare when I turned six. And, you, know, you said zero. You ain't gave nothing to the church. Nah, nah, I don't think so, bro. Like, probably like maybe like five or something like that. Through my whole, Did you have a church home growing yeah, up? Yeah, growing up, but that don't count though, because that wasn't my income. What That's church you up going to? Uh, what was that? Uh, New Mount Pleasant in Inglewood, bro. Okay. Yeah, but what happened though? Yeah, so what happened was I found out the pastor was up there fucking on the um. Yeah, it was thick ones. Yeah, they was up there fucking on the. Uh, oh, you heard it? You sung there before. You son? You said, nigga, you don't sing, yeah, nigga. Soprano? Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 what was you a tenor or alto? <laughs> Alto, he was really singing. I was a tenor because I was the lead, nigga. Oh, you the lead, nigga? You led the song? You led the song? This nigga does it sound like Jeffrey Osborne out there. You nigga, the drummer for Lil Wayne. That was him? That's how me and him were. That's how me and him met. Shut these niggas up, man. Go on Go on here. Don't yeah. do this, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But you know what I'm saying? That shit, that shit was real shit, though, bro. Like, yeah. niggas was. I mean, like, just just being in the choir, bro. Then yeah. doing that shit, nigga. That shit was the wildest experience. That shit was like worse than niggas. Like, why a nigga? Cause yeah. you used to be. Cause you, all the niggas that go to church is young as gang members. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's so when you shit. go fellowship, this is a nigga from a whole nother hood with his homies, and y'all from over here, and nigga, other yeah. niggas is from different hoods, they probably don't get a, yeah, that nigga from a Trail, I'm from C. Like, hold on, where, nigga? I'm don't, not even from L.A. like that. You know how I go to church? Like, 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 church grow, grow up, I got all of my knowledge as far as what the games were, the territories in church. Yep. Like, we used to have, like, Wednesday night youth service, and yeah. it, it, the whole service would be around what streets not to go down. Yep. This is like 1992 L.A. And like the, the 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 youth services would be like, okay, yeah, and if you're on Hoover ninety third, you don't do this. But exactly. We're yep. gonna we gonna have a fellowship over here <laughs> on Central and Seventy Fourth. Now we ain't gonna leave the parking lot now. We have, <laughs> and you would get these talks before you yeah. get your little street witness in the yeah. shit. So they was up there doing that shit like original gangsters, that movie and shit. <laughs> 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 on a red tie or something like, nah, get that get that talk, boy. 
And then also, like, other kids, like, you like, all kind of kids talk. in the church with you with different different sets in the church. You know what I mean? Right. So niggas would be peaceful at church, but yep. then you would hear some of them niggas got in a fight. Too, yeah. And then you hear about the church on Sunday, you'd be like, the yeah, bar yeah. got in a fight? I thought they was cool. Damn. Man, they, they from different sets. The niggas was crying. And then they'd see church. each other at church. <laughs> <laughs> and then at youth service, they'd be, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, no, no. Hey, but niggas in church, bro, them niggas be gangsters outside. But as soon as they come to church, niggas, Jesus, bro. I seen niggas like gangsters that is shot niggas. I'm like, you crying, nigga? <laughs> I'm just saying, man. You know what I'm saying? When I was up there, like, bro, feel it, my niggas. I don't hear me, but. It would always be a gangster that cries. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Lock, in, lock in service, like right before we get to have fun. Oh, yeah. When they right. praying and shit, it would all be one you gangster. You fuck at church? Yeah, right. I didn't. I did. Oh, I don't. Yeah. A lot of my friends. I did. Nah. I didn't. Duncan was fucking at the church. <laughs> Let me shut up. Yeah, Duncan was fucking was, at the church. Yeah, 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 we did it. <coughs> you fucked at the church right, before? Right. Yeah, you didn't. Yeah. Derek didn't fuck yeah. at the church. Yeah. <laughs> Quiet roll. I never smashed at the church. After, yeah, church, after church, though. After church, went down. Church. Well, my yeah, after church. Not, not you went. You went, church, oh, so you went naked me. What? Naked me. Naked what? Oh yeah. There's no condom. Oh, yeah, God got me. God got me. She's from church. God got me. She's from church. What are you talking about? She pray all the time. Blaze, you're smashing church? <laughs> what church you grew up in? The church was accused of this nigga went to ITT Tech. You know, that wasn't that funny. It was. I love it. I love it. The extra chuckles, though. I'm going to take them. ITT Tech is your church. That's funny. Wait, you was that kid that actually, you actually got to watch cartoons on Sunday then. You was that kid? You'd have, you'd have to go to church? Yeah. 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 That nigga was in a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I didn't know, like, like, remember, like, Bobby's World used to be on while we was at church. Bobby's World. Oh, yeah. Bobby's I, World. I, I, I know if you were not, yeah. them, 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 like, when you were fake sick, you can get out sometimes. Like, I was fake sick to watch Bobby's World sometimes. <laughs> them niggas just it. couldn't answer basic questions and shit for me, man. Yeah. That bothered me. You know what I'm saying? Every time you get to a point where a motherfucker don't know the answer to it, they say, <laughs> Faith, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Faith. 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 Gotta believe, brother. Yeah, That's gotta all believe. it is. Yeah, so I, you know. The crazy. They, they almost pushed me into pimping, man. I'm like, this is a cold <laughs> game. <laughs> I gotta start selling <laughs> dreams, too. You know what I mean? <laughs> this shit is cold, man. What was you about to say, Todd? Oh, man. Uh, the craziest thing I seen, I was a, a little kid, and me and my mama visited a church, and they knocked her out. Like what Dunn was talking about, hit her with the. Oh, I can hit her with the. Oh, yeah. But I didn't know the difference, so that, that's how. I, I didn't know the Jesus difference. I just. Father, your mama, the name I see her go down to the grass, she's all up under the thing. I'm like, oh! Little kid, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get up there and help her out, they wouldn't let me get up there. It's like a little eight year old. I was going to get my children. You trying to get mom CPR? Yeah, yeah, I think mama was. 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 I think mama was a church crisis actor. She was clocked in on <laughs> Yo, speak, speaking of clocked in, me and Todd have seen some crazy shit at church. We seen a nigga turn around and and knock a girl out in the in the seat behind her. Oh, like, <laughs> what she, what she, she say? He was, <laughs> she, he he fired fired her at church. What she say? No, no, victory? Kid. No, he was in like the New second English. row. He was in like the second row too. Like so, what? he was sitting there and the girl kept messing with him. Mess with him. He kept saying, "Leave me alone, leave me alone." She kept messing with him. Turned around and fired on her. Like, yeah, like yeah. fired on her and then turned back around. Like yeah, he had, she had yeah, like nothing know. ever happened. No. <laughs> she was asleep. Am, am I lying? She was punched. I don't know she <laughs> was. I don't know she was. She never got beat. She was ugly. Huh? Hey, y'all had that kind of church where free. somebody yeah, would just yeah, stand up out of nowhere, pray, like praying in tongues and shit. Uh, yeah, my y'all did, you'd be sitting there and somebody be like, "Oh, shaka la 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 la," and then they make a prophecy. Yeah, yeah. they call the bus here. Ice, that shit. You right though. It was always the people that's blessing high. That nigga show on the show. Only nigga understand tongues. Exactly what they talking about. You <laughs> got a tactical jacket on, nigga. You going paintball. Yeah. Hey, but that, that crazy talking and shit was my fake ass auntie. That's probably uh, another reason I had a hard, your family. Yeah. yeah, I had a hard time swallowing some of this shit. I'm like, she fake as a motherfucker, man. I, this shit can't be real. God should have known she's gonna come in here on this bullshit. You right. know what I'm saying? It made her car break down or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, because he can't it, be the all knowing. It's always the one that had the highest praise reports, blessing, highly favored, that caught the bus at church. Right. Like, 
God don't favor you that highly. <laughs> Brother John said he got a Mercedes, and right. he ain't highly favored. He didn't say that shit. You oh, highly favored. You he, just, he just good at math. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga collecting the money at the yeah. church. That's yeah. your last topic? No, I had another one. Go ahead. All right, uh, about music. All right, pick up where we left off. Yeah? <laughs> nah, but you know, uh, like music is a uh, psych psychological thing. You know, it's a mood changer. You dig me? Yes, sir. So one of the things that uh, New York is uh, police is on right now is the drill music. They saying this has a big impact. You know what I'm saying? On murders and people dissing each other, dead ops and stuff like that. that. Drill. drill. Oh, drill. Yeah, you know, music uh, yeah. always evolve. You know what I mean? So, um... Yeah, that's one of the things that uh, the police is really targeting on, listening to drill music and basically... So what could they do about... They said that about Tupac. Yeah, they did say the same thing about Tupac. Oh, they said that about rock and roll. They, they said, that said that about R&B music. They said that about jazz. They didn't have no words. They said that about chub rock. But yeah. the thing is, I just feel like these n niggas just gangbanging and putting that shit in the art form. But here's the difference, like, there, there, here's the awesome difference between bang. drill music and like gangster music. Like, like gangster was a lot of allegory. Right. A lot of double and triple entendres. It could have multiple meanings. You gotta but explain allegory to show. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, you talking about dog food. stupid. He said I ate alligator, but I nigga. Like, <laughs> <That's the right. laughs> Y'all cold. Uh, that's cold, dog. That's cold. That's cold. That's cold. That's cold. That's cold. Uh, that nigga look like one of the roaches in Joe's apartment. <laughs> yeah. hey, but I think it's. Bad, I, I don't think it's. I don't think it's niggas gang banging and, and putting it in art form. I think these motherfuckers is natural artists. And they just using that to talk the most popular shit, which is game banging. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Because yeah. real gangsters don't really do all that talk. <laughs> there we go. A real gangster ain't finna be on nobody's record, nobody's microphone, nobody's studio. You know what I'm saying? Doing a motherfucking thing because they too busy doing what they doing. You talking about like the, the, the back in the, the old the old code of gangsters. I'm talking today. Like today's where these motherfuckers just clout. These, these, I'm saying, but these motherfuckers in drill. Like these motherfuckers is clout chasing. Yeah, they, go, they going around saying shit. <laughs> They going around saying shit, but these motherfuckers is actually doing it two weeks later, motherfucker dead. Facts. Like, that's actually, like, we can't ignore that. Like, back Barry White was real gangster. It'd be a lot of shit talking yeah. back in the day. Somebody might get their ass whooped. No, but this but shit. But, like, now, no, these real motherfuckers gangster, talking but, shit. But real gangsters been popping pistols. <laughs> but they weren't on wax. Forever. Right. But they weren't rapping. Barry White them. was a real gangster. He talked about love. Yeah, exactly. Right. He right. brought a pistol to the studio. Yeah. If you was off key, that nigga bust that motherfucking air. Nigga, what the fuck <laughs> you doing? That's <laughs> shot, <Yeah>. nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Barry White kept a pistol in his piano, bitch. That's 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 a hundred percent. But see, that's what I mean by that. We we saying like the gangsters of it, like these niggas is is artists at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? They trying to get sell a product. Yeah, artists. That's all of them. Yeah, all, yeah. artists. Yeah. So they trying to sell a product. So. <laughs> That's how you test the nigga knowledge in the hood. Yeah. If they is. can't say most, uh, <laughs> if it's three yeah. rappers and they say artists, don't sign the contract. <laughs> I got three artists. Already go. Or, 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 or sign that nigga. <laughs> so these are niggas. These are niggas that be on on wax. You know what I'm saying? Doing like like you said, they nigga be talking shit right to right back. But they rapping about niggas who's going to do that shit. You right. know what I'm saying? So that's what make it trash. But like you said, it's for clout. It's the clout it's era. The clout, it's clout these era. niggas like. You, but you think about how we view talent, though, right? We view talent as being creators. We view creators as powerful. You know what I'm saying? Niggas that make shit. The, the system is not looking at us like that. We are the, the breakdown of the status quo. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to look at it. We can look at that shit like we want to. But they see you creating, they've got to get you under control. You got how the is working? Mm -hmm. We got to send shit at DeWine so he know we ain't playing and that we can affect his business. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We know he's an artist first. He want to do his art shit. But he's teaching shit and we don't like it. So we're going to attack this. Right. They don't want creators to create shit. You know what I'm saying? So all this shit we, we we hold high like niggas creating shit. And that's why that shit is getting like like we always talk about niggas that's dope don't get to shine. Mm -hmm. What they talk about. Trash niggas. You know what I'm saying? We mm -hmm. and then even blogs like, oh, this nigga's album was trash. Yeah. But what about the nigga album's dope? They don't care about that because they want to have a spotlight on the Talent doesn't doesn't mean shit. Don't mean shit. And it's about what we doing. Well, we want to put you out. You are gonna get put out, nigga. If not, they don't get fuck. How talented you are. And on top of that, they'll look at it like they'll have somebody talking some real shit. And unless they have the right right circumstances, yeah. they won't put they won't put that record out. The they put out the bullshit. Said. They like they like. <laughs> <laughs> you said, so niggas said, niggas yeah, become they, they, they a it about talent. If it was yeah. about talent, nigga, this room wouldn't be what it is. Craig wouldn't be sitting right there. I wouldn't be sitting right here. 
Snaz done. I mean, you know what I'm saying? This shit is about hard work. 80% gimmick. No, not hard it's, work. It's gimmick. It's it's hard, hard work. work. If it was about hard work, nigga, you ain't hard working. For real. I mean, my bad consistency. Yeah, my bad yeah, consistency. It ain't about consistency. It's a lot of consistently hard working yeah. motherfuckers who do not get a look because they ain't talking that bullshit. Right. I know. That's I fact, though. I mean, but some people are saying, like, even with the, uh, you know, the drill rap and shit like that, most niggas make their uh, self a target before they make themselves a star. A star. You know what I mean? Like, they're, uh, like how they say, uh, positivity spreads shallow, you know, it's shallow, and then negativity spread fast as fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So even, like, some of these artists, a lot of these artists, I wouldn't know who the fuck they was if they weren't doing no bullshit. No right. bullshit. It's right. not even that about the music. Yeah. It's right. like, who the fuck is this nigga? He did some bullshit. Yeah. Oh, he got a song? Well, that's why, why is that show? That's because the, the places that all these publications, a lot of these world star hip hop style publications, that's all they that, that's what they're picking up on. Facts. And so it's, it's one of those things where people when these when these kids are seven, eight years old, all they saw was the negativity is what they was reading in these magazines and on the internet, not magazines for them, but on the internet and all that stuff in the blogs, all the negativity. So when they get to the age that they're now eighteen years old, they've been reading this bullshit for ten years. So what they gonna do for the crowd? The bullshit. No, that's so, it, so we live like what well, Craig always talk about the society we live in. Facts. It's a sick society, and right. it's a, this, this society promotes sickness and corruption. And not just that. Uh, yeah, no, I, I agree with you on that though. You know what I'm saying? I just but, say something short. Why are you okay. giving Paul right now? <laughs> <laughs> Like nigga, you got that, you know, my nigga, you came in with that Goodwill hunting jacket, nigga. <laughs> 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 nigga said. Simplifying, though, the bar's been lowered. And since the bar's lowered, the standards are not there. No one's The happy. bar for what? What are you talking about? Society. Oh, okay. Tap in. This nigga with this 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 bedazzled condom. He dazzled his arm. He dazzled his arm. Especially on the man. He got a baby snake under that hat. But not even with the music. But I think I took I think they uh put more attention into the bullshit and less uh attention on and highlighting less of the talent. You're right about that. Right, right, right. Okay. So one of the differences, though, to me is like our era rappers, we wouldn't say exactly what the hell happened. You know what I'm saying? Murder was a case, but he's talking about all kind of other shit. <laughs> These motherfuckers be like, yeah, we shot Jimmy. We shot this dude right here. And then when they look into it, this motherfucker really did it. Yeah, nigga. It's, that shit is it's all... Nine in the morning feds at my door. I mean, niggas is telling real shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? All the time. Our rappers are... If a motherfucker getting in front of that microphone, man, if a motherfucker recording a record, making music, it's business. At that point, it's business. And you got to do what you got to do for business. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers is talking too much. They telling this, them themselves? This shit ain't even called telling no more. This, this ain't even snitching no more to me. This shit, but this is, niggas is telling the truth. You know man. what I'm saying? That's, that's, how, that's how common it is now. Motherfuckers like, hey, man. One second. When we come back, more correct facts. Yeah. God, 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 God. When we come forward. Oh, you pee, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get. I got so much shit to talk about, bro. It's about to get. Sheesh. It's gonna be good. Yo, you write poetry, huh? I mean, I started off, but I've been rhyming since I was like 10 or 11. The way you rhyme, bro, it's like something that's different, bro. I fuck with it. Oh, you knocked that out. Oh, that bitch's head, I think she fucking with that crystal. Yo, what's going on? It's Patrick Cloud, and I just need to let you know that you need to pick up that Chill Withers LP by The Craig Smith right here. Um, man, it's it's super dope. You, This is Craig, how you have never seen him before. I was literally in the studio just watching, and I was, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. I jumped on one of the songs. You're not going to regret it. Check out Chill Withers coming to Spotify, all the major all the major streaming platforms and all of that. Chill Withers, Craig Smith. Let's get it. Man, we in here record, man. We working on this Chill Withers project, man. Chill Withers. You know what I'm saying? It ain't never too late to blow. Chill Withers, that's how I go. How to do a robbery and get away with jewels. First you have to plan out. Meet her at a man's house. 
I think she fucking with that crystal. Every step towards that meth like Wu Tang instrumentals. Tell him pussy, why the fuck do you strip for? Die on that battlefield, I'll yield to a lip blow. On that bitch's head, I think she fucking with that crystal. Hey, I'm here for the sex you ordered. I ordered the to win an argument and the sex. Oh, okay, that's me. Uh, you got the blue chip? Alright, turn around. Stop! Alright, come on. Come on. So why was you late? You know what, I was late. I that's my fault. It was my fault. I'm not going to argue I was wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because men are stupid, right? Oh, man, we are so stupid, baby. Why would I argue with that? Men are dumb. We are complete idiots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and cereal and soup is the same thing, ain't it? Cereal and soup are actually the same thing. You are correct. This is crazy. Yeah, you should have soup when you're hungry and thirsty, shouldn't you? You should actually eat soup when you're hungry and thirsty at the same time. You are absolutely correct, yeah, baby. Yeah, that right. You are right. I'm I mean, not going to argue. You're right. Uh-huh. Lay down. R.I.P. R.I.P. Little Richard, man. Man, hey, hey, Little, hey, Richard. Little Richard made the first, the first openly gay song, man. To the I commend him for his curse. <laughs> that nigga had a song. Yo, yo, chill. Tutti Fruity on Rudy. Oh, boys. Tutti Fruity mm. on Rudy. That song's about sex. Mm. Oh, wop wobaloo bop. Mm. He came up with the wop wobaloo because that's. That's when he went to nigga ass and the nigga like, wop, 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 wop. What you doing, Richard? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wop. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you had that much Richard, Richard. <laughs> Yo, I thought chill. they called you Little Richard because oh, you had a little Richard. I know you had that much Richard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, after that night, he's like, he started introducing them different. Like, everybody, this is Big Richard. The nigga was lying. <laughs> <laughs> hey. lying. It's Big Richard. <laughs>what you about to do to your competitor, man? I'm about to stump a mud hole in his confidence, man. Hey. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to beat him down, man. I'm a dominologist. I do this. Hey, man. Tell the world where they can find you. Big job, two Gs. B-I-G-G-J-A-H. All platforms. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. OnlyFans, all that. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Hey, man. Let's roll. Let's get ready to rumble, man. Yeah, let's make it go. All right. Our next competitor, man. Man, this is one of my close partners, man. Got much love for him. Y'all give it up straight from Marino Valley, Moval, California. Y'all give it up for Lunch the General. Really not into violence. Interpretate the silence as prizes. Baby. What's going on, lunch? What's up, How you man, doing, man? Chilling, man. Yeah. Chilling, man. Man, tell these people what you about to do to your competitor. I'm about to hit this nigga with a rock. This big ass nigga, David and Goliath type of shit. I'm just rocking. You know what I'm saying? Come on. That, that's right. That's right, man. Tell the world where they can find you. Check me out, lunch the general. That's lunch T H A General. Spotify, Apple Music, IG, and wherever else. Pornhub too. If it's on that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Check me out. <laughs> Let's get ready to roll ball! Let's get it! Hey man, rules.
Games to 100, 400. All right. If somebody calls bogey, that's 50 points, but you got to call the bogey if they play bogey. All right. Okay. And, uh, yeah, games to 100. Let's, go. Let's, Let's rock. Go. Let's go. Right here. Why? 400. Bam. Let's do it. Somebody got to watch, watch this. Yeah. I want to do that. I'm like my man. My first and last time watching this. Uh, I'm, it. 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 I'm allergic to the soap around this motherfucker. Uh, I don't believe it. Let's go. <laughs> Nigga look like he is. Look <laughs> ashy. <laughs> <laughs> he allergic to soap, motherfucker. Here we go. Shut his big ass up. Come on. We go. Get the kids out the street. They crying. Big six to the boat. Yeah, we ain't got it. I don't got it. Big five. We ain't got that either. Big four. Oh no. Okay. Big three. All right, boy. Don't get no kids. Not yet. I'm working man. on it though. Setting it up. Uh huh. Yeah. Break that, huh? Uh huh. Boom. Oh. Oh, like that. Mm hmm. Oh, like that. Yes, I'm you getting a knickknack. Oh, Patty White. Okay. Give a dog a okay. bone. Give a job a bone. Let me get the same thing. Oh, man. Five. Ten to five. Uh -huh. Ten to Tension. five. Okay. Okay. Don't forget to mention. Like that. Let's see. Ooh. Take it. Take it. Mm -hmm. He runs away. I see it. Serious. Yeah. Yeah. Serious. Sit, sit, serious. Come on. You got him five, huh? I see you run away. Don't oh, do it like way. that. We're gonna do it like that. Treachery. Mmm. Okay. Go ahead and do it like that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and jump on Yeah, I'm gonna get it like that. It's alright. Right. We're gonna get it like that. Boom. Oh. That way. Oh, like wow. Yeah, right? bring it back then. Lay him down like that. Yep. Okay. Lay him down like that. Yes, sir. Look at that. Ain't nothing. Wait, we're setting it up. Fifteen. Oh my God. Nominal. Oh, right. oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. Strong, nigga. I'm strong. Yeah. Ten more. Got done. Okay. Thirty to ten. Oh, okay. Jai got ten. Lust got thirty. For right now. Oh, 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 right now. Okay. It's lunch. Right, right now. It's all good. It's lunch. Let's, Let's eat. 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 Let's yeah, they go I like when you just I'll give you the first one. What my yeah. man say? Make sure they hot. Make sure they not so hot. Something cool. like that. <laughs> yup. Plastic pans and all that shit. Yup, yup. Yeah, sure they're crying. Yeah, I believe you. My hand is at all that shit. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, all good. Yeah. Told you my shit. 40 to 10. 40 to 10. I'm knocking already. Oh, oh wow. Don't grab too many, though. Don't like oh, wow. Hold on, man. I'm pulling bullshit. This grab too many. It's all good. I don't like too many of them, I don't like too many of them. Wait. <laughs> oh. oh, they're going. I ain't start slapping yet, because I ain't really putting it down yet. <laughs> What's this, less than zero? <laughs> <laughs> 40 to 10. Lust got 40, Jai got 10. Come oh. on, oh, Jai say it ain't it's so. It's all good. It's oh, all man. good. Oh, I really didn't like that. Uh-huh. Tension? Oh, yeah. we out the house. 50 I told you my hand booty, my nigga. 50 to 10. My shit trash right now. Oh. That way. I'm like, what he's saying, though, really? Mm -hmm. I don't like that. Well, let me get it open. Oh. Let me get it open, then, my nigga. Side of the house. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Dime! <laughs> Dime! Oh, there go. That way. Yeah, that's, that's, that's that's good good oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I said, I said don't get let, don't let me get oh. an opening. Same dime. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Same dime. Okay. Sixty to twenty. That's cool. Get back over there, my nigga. Hey. Oh. oh. Adolescent R. Kelly. Oh my okay. God. R. Kelly. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Adolescent. <laughs> Adolescent. R. Kelly. Adolescent. I'm a goddamn motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Okay, this. okay. okay. Mm -hmm. oh, no. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, buddy. R. Kelly. Oh. <laughs> you bump and grind. He need 10 to go. It's 90 to 20. Go. Hey, he is king. Hey, yo, Josh. Hey, hey, my hand was trapped from jump, though. And niggas at home gonna see it. Y'all watch this, y'all gonna see my hand was trapped from the jump. But I'm a savage. I'm gonna still rock with it. Did you get seven? <laughs> okay, okay. Ooh, wait, it's money, money, money. There's money out there. There's money out there. Hey, I'm still over here. I'm, I'm still bullshit. There's money out there. 
This is a personal aspect. Arsenal. What you doing? Do I need to go, Grip? This is a biblical. Do I need to go? <laughs> it is Sunday. David and Glenn. Let's go. What scoreboard? 90 to 20. Oh, yeah. He is kicking your ass to the max. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, fuck all that, nigga. Uh, hey, 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 get up, bro. Uh, shit, man. Let's go, man. Let's go. Uh, it's all Let's good. Let's go, baby. Get him up out of here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I'll have to download it. That's good. That's good. Come on. It's bad dealing. You should have took your bitch ass home and been rich. All that hot. Yes, sir. It's yeah. your boy's lunch. Y'all know how to get how I'm I get to, it. Yeah. It's lunch. Let's eat. I'm about Ow. to be outside like this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all get this big nigga, man. I need 10 niggas to get this big nigga, man. It's your, it's your boy's lunch. I eat fine smoke valve, baby. Y'all know how I get down. Let's eat. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all watch and subscribe. If I owe you something, you can get it from God, nigga. God, God, God! <laughs> if your girl don't hate you, then her friends won't date you. You gotta let her know when she's fine. If your girl don't hate you, then her friends won't date you. Man up, but keep it moving along. These are just the rules. Okay. Created for the fools. That's right. How to do a robbery and get away with you. That's game. First you map the plan out. Uh -huh. Meet her at a man's house. Well, must have wore some track shoes. Uh -huh. Sprint her how she ran out. Let's go. My girl to your girl to our girl. She hates rules and they do. She can't choose. I earn. Let me prepare you. You swear you. You in at the dare you. A two hour room for the pair you. Yeah, you. Be close but hands off like an heirloom. Yeah, you. Start to kind of like and put some rules down. Yeah, you don't know that she's about to cheer you. Cause there's another man in the space that she stares to. Yeah, you. These are just the rules. Okay. Created for the fools. That's right. How to do a robbery and get away with you. That's game. First you map the plan out. Uh -huh. Meet her at a man's house. Well, must have wore some track shoes. Uh -huh. Sprinter how she ran out. If your girl don't hate you, then her friends won't date you. You gotta let her know when she's wrong. If your girl don't hate you, then her friends won't date you. Man up, but keep it moving along. Hey, said she with it, uh, did it for the business, uh. I just checked the gram after hitting, she got niggas, yeah. Hey, said I'm with it, uh, did it for that kitty, uh. Niggas think we cool until we kick you out that city, ay. Uh, she called me a little baby, no newborn. Fucked her so good, she said I should do porn. Ay, I proved a lot of shit, but money told me do more. Yo, if I can't fuck you, girl, what's the crew for? <laughs> Yo, ay, somebody need to catch Tommy Lawrence slipping. Hop up with that piston, racist ass white lady missing. I can go and tell your bitch to get your cars listed. Hit up Craig, we drifting. Turn Nicholas Cage, they all lifted. If your girl don't hate you, then her friends won't date you. You gotta let her know when she's wrong. If your girl don't hate you, then her friends won't date you. Man up, but keep it moving along. These are just the rules. Okay. Created for the fools. That's right. How to do a robbery and get away with you. That's game. First you map the plan out. Uh -huh. Meet her at a man's house. Well, must have wore some track shoes. Sprinter how she ran out. Let's go. Domestic violence is not always abuse. Because some of these women like to fight. When a woman hits you, you can temporarily forget she's a woman. What the, what the fuck, what the fuck? My mouth. You hit me in my mouth. I can take disrespect. Didn't I tell you I was out with Smitty? Oh, you wanna keep swing? Stop, stop it. I told you to stop it. I told you I was, Smith. Bitch, I'm gonna. real spry since you put her through the fry now she fucking old boy and she don't even say goodbye missing old girl and she wants to know the why but open means open and emotions are a lie even if i had a heart she would serve it with some pie when a casual encounter with a bouncer over fries when he give it to you we gon' finally say goodbye because all i do is eat drink fuck and then say goodnight I really, I really don't, don't fuck with you. you just call, bitch? Cause you just something to do. You damn right I'd be a fool for food. But I really don't fool with you. I thought you knew. 
I really don't fuck with you. Did you just cough, bitch? Cause you just something to do. You're damn right, I'd be a fool for fool. But I really don't fool with you. I don't you know. The trouble with y'all is y'all ain't trouble at all. Do what you wanna do, nigga, including dropping the ball. Plan for what's in store, homie, you are not at the mall. You're not a customer no more, but a product of all. Yo, brother said what? Baby, don't play. We both know Lil Jeffrey Gay. You do what I tell you to do, and he do what a nigga say. Plus, I'm the one fucking you. When you feed me bullshit, I gotta stomach you and shit out direction. Like that time he kept it back by the door for safety. Then I said, if you don't take this and keep it next to your bed, nigga gon' break in the house and take this shit and hit you in the head. I really don't fuck with you. Did you just cough, bitch? Cause you just something to do. You damn right I'd be a fool for fool. But I really don't fool with you. I thought you knew. I really don't fuck with you. Did you just cough, bitch? Cause you just something to do. You damn right I'd be a fool for fool. But I really don't fool with you. I thought you knew. I really don't fuck with you. Did you just cough, bitch? Cause you just something to do. You're damn right I'd be a fool for fool. But I really don't fool with you. I don't you know. Too much red on that back. Yeah, what you trying to do over here? Like how am I yeah. like the nachos though? Yeah. Well, have these cool ranches and cool shut the ranch. fuck no. up. No, shut the uh, fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> we're back. Uh, Damn, I'm froze like a motherfucker. Look. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought you been froze for real. <laughs> yeah, that was mine. Yeah, <laughs> that little bit got you high. Yeah, nigga. I ain't got the same uh, <laughs> <laughs> going on, man. What you got for us, Doug? You got something for us? Oh, shit, yeah. Uh, you? To it, get stupid. <laughs> All right. Now, if you're a Kia or a Hyundai driver, <laughs> they told your ass to park your car outside. Because the engine can catch on fire even when that motherfucker turned up. <laughs> wow. You drive is what is four hundred eighty-five thousand Kias that are doing Kia and Hyundai on it. So if you got them two cars, you don't park your shit in no garage. Don't park your shit. You know what I'm saying your shit to catch on fire even if it's oh, the engine to catch on fire. That's that's what Kia. That's what they. You got them two cars. Get your life together. <laughs> that shit got the hoverboard effect. Nigga. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn, oh, you right. hoverboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Kia yeah. and Honda. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all right. Yeah. So you got two of them motherfuckers. I don't know what I'm saying. Fix your credit. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first car they're going to show a, your get, ass get, is that Honda and that kid. Duh. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? The reputable. I ain't fuck with them Hyundai since Rodney King. Man. Man. Uh, nigga, uh, I ain't yeah. fuck with no Hyundai. <laughs> Rodney King got his ass beat running in the Hyundai. I'd never right. get one of them motherfuckers. Yeah, he didn't get away. He wasn't getting away. It wasn't the yeah. car that did it. It was the cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> and he said he was on PCP too, so that was... Oh, yeah. They did a lot. That was crazy. I thought it was the police that fucked him up. <laughs> Kia's actually a decent car now. Shit. De- decent, <laughs> decent looking. You know, you know, if you pull in, you know what I'm saying? They, this is what they put out on Twitter. That's what I'm yeah. saying. They, so. Not only that, real life. I mean, how, how much of a run they got? How much, you know what I'm saying? Do you, do, do, does Korean it, has anybody seen a 1997 Kia anything? <laughs> no. No. Yeah. yeah. I've I I seen a 1992 Civic this morning. Uh, you see them Civics all yeah, the goddamn yeah. time. I mean, you know, you, you see reputable shit. I see Fords all, all the time, you know. Uh, Pick, a lot of Chevys. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that's what the Ford's doing, picking them up off the side of the road. They ain't got no, they ain't got no cars in Africa. No brands. <laughs> they got no hotel uh, haulers. <laughs> <laughs> hotel haulers. Hotels in Australia. When you were young, you either when you were young. It, Got a Hyundai or Sentra. That was like, man, that's that was what your pocket, your pocket couldn't afford back. In the that day. was a six thousand dollar car. Shit. Right. Okay, like, you better get a job, and get your own goddamn right. car. That's how we know nothing to do it today. 
Yeah, my Anything friend. you had to eat 20 years ago, you shouldn't be eating that today. Right, right, <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. That's right, easy right. to say for you. Look at DeWan over there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating better, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You still eat the same kibbles and bits. <laughs> 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 I didn't even hear this nigga. <laughs> what else you got for us? No. Whoopi Goldberg got suspended from the view, nigga. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for making Whoopi. making Jewish comments, well, anti-Semitic comments, as they would call them, saying that uh, the Jews are uh, the the Holocaust wasn't a racist issue. It was it was a uh, a human issue, like men just being right. bad to each other. So it wasn't a racist thing. What? She explained, basically she saying race away the way they do niggas. Yes, basically she just said Jewish Jewish people are in a race of people. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't really it had nothing to do with you know what I'm saying it was two white people that was white on white crime. It was white on white crime it had nothing to do with race. You know what I'm saying? So she got suspended for that and didn't apologize. You know what I'm saying? She actually got on the show it was like they're attacking me. I can't believe that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you know the funny part about it was, well, it was what she said was was in line with the definition. Yeah. After she said that, they changed the definition of racism on, oh, the, Jew- on the Jewish website. Oh, okay. Like on the, on back at the time, it was like it was talking uh, the, at the time their definition of racism was conflict between between different races of people, and then they just recently changed it. I'm paraphrasing into like a conflict just between a power dynamic. On my last show, I broke it the whole down. I put up the website and everything. They so they so she was actually in alignment with their definition of racism when she said it. Right. The and funny thing to me was. <laughs> The first day of Black History Month, they all took a picture. <laughs> the view cast and Whoopi was there. And day two, no Whoopi. Yeah, Whoopi. <laughs> so that's out Second of day of Black History Month. She man. got her ass kicked but out. But that's you know a spinner on Black History Month? Oh, Black History Month. Y'all day. know Whoopi Goldberg's name ain't Whoopi Goldberg? Yeah, her Whoopi. real name is... Uh, Karen, Karen something. Karen. 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 It's, it's a regular, like, Johnson's name. This bitch's name ain't Whoopi. I thought I was in my hood. Whoopi! Hey, Whoopi. 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 I just knew her name was Whoopi. Whoopi allowed motherfuckers to wear, <laughs> to wear blackface around her. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. back in the day. I already so. get on set, get, get shows. Like, put, if you see the name Whoopi Goldberg, you're going to assume it's a Jewish person. You know what I'm saying? Right, that was all but when strategy. When you show up, though. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, late, I expect man. if I hear a name Whoopi Goldberg, I expect someone with that hat to show up. Yeah. 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 What you got for us, Dewan? Full of money. Well, speaking on that, on that along the line of that. Joe Rogan, people are talking about oh, you know, so the story yeah. won't go away about Joe Rogan and, and, and him being a racist. They still talking about it. And, and they still Rogan? talking about it. And you know the crazy part about it was I remember on this same very show about it when we talked about Joe Rogan when he got a Spotify deal, deal I called him a racist back then. And it was lot it was it was a whole lot of motherfuckers in the chat room, niggas, talking about the ones always talking about race. The ones always talking about race. <coughs> this motherfucker came out talking about the city of Philadelphia. And then mother looking like Planet of the Apes and looking like um, Africa. Yeah. Had another video talking about nigga, 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 nigga. And for you old context ass niggas, it's never a context for white people to say nigga. At all. Not exactly. even when they explain it. Yeah. 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 Explain it in a different way. He exactly. fucked up, man. He fucked up. And 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 so a lot of people have you know, it's been a big old debate. Is Joe Rogan a racist? And the the thing that, that I see out there that's sort of disappointed me a little bit is there's a whole lot of black dudes coming to his defense. Oh. But at the same time, going off what Duncan was talking about, Whoopi, you ain't seen not one white person come to defend Whoopi. No, nah, no. So what they is that? What, what's, no what's up? What's person, up with that with us as a people? Ain't no white person finna challenge them Jews. That's the easy one. And as far as Joe Rogan, he ain't racist. He just stupid. He ignorant. I think. I think he. That's he, racism. He, that's, that's stupid too. No, <laughs> a real, a real, a real, a real racist. Nick got a black stepdaughter, man. Yeah. A so, real, so, 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 is he still with the mama? Is he still with the mama? A real racist. Something's so Thomas Jefferson. You can't be racist if you married somebody that's a different race. <laughs> <laughs> he still with the mama? Is he, is he still with her? Is he still with her? Hey, or did he leave her? Hey, a, 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 a real racist won't nothing, like Gary, nothing to do with us. Black people. Yeah, that, 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 won't take a black dollar. Won't take a black nothing. Fuck y'all. If you like, if you're 1955 in Alabama, you're right. But well, in, in like, but you gotta understand racism. <laughs> racism, is, racism is, is, is refined itself. That one style of racists don't want to fuck with you. The other style of races, the Democrat liberal style of races, wants you as close to them as possible, so they can watch your every movement and control your activity 
but at the same time, they're giving you all the love that they want to give you. Yeah. But they still pay but you. Ignorant. But they still that's not ignorant. No, that's economic. Right. This is real shit. That's yeah. what I was gonna get to because there's another side to this that they not really touching. Let's talk on. about it. The, uh, the Spotify and him talking about the whoopty ramp issue. That came up first. Right. That's what. Yeah. That's why I think this, all this old shit that he said years ago right. that people didn't really trip off of, that it was racist. You're not wrong about that. I'm with you. That's it. You fucked up, nigga. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I'm not finna. I mean, and I'm, I'm with real. you on this point. Yeah. So I think that's why it's coming up. So yeah. so when it, when it, when it, when it, when it, uh, it's it's just the what the first quarter. So the new the new everybody from the sign they the, the investors is like, yo, what's up with the money? <laughs> yeah. So now it's like, okay, well we can't value y'all value you here. Because you know the the controversy and Neil Young's taking his music off and you know <laughs> and look at these things that keep happening. CNN is getting their ass kicked. They're involved in it. He's he's doing what eleven million views an episode. Mm-hmm. They're doing what two hundred thousand, six hundred thousand on network television. Right. They they and they're the main ones who's pushing it. So <laughs> that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of that and the shit bringing his fuck ups up, lying and being racist, mm-hmm. like you said, or pressure, whatever the fuck y'all want to call it. That did happen, but it's a bigger economic issue that's going on behind that shit. They're oh, trying yeah. to fuck up the brand. So by the time the investor's looking like, look, either you get rid of him or, nigga, we, get, we ain't, we ain't going to put as much money as we did in the last quarter. But Joe Rogan is Joe Rogan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At the end of the day, right. Spotify is really on Joe Rogan. <laughs> niggas, niggas will delete that app if he leaves. You, you know what can't what I'm cancel a nigga that got $100 million. Yeah, you can't. Uh, so, <laughs> it just say, okay, y'all don't fuck with me, nigga. <laughs> so? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's all the game. Like, I think I, I, I'm with Duncan because I, I think bigger is they're trying to go at censorship. Yeah, yeah. That's on, on podcast yeah. uh, stuff. I, I believe all that because I remember when Joe Rogan signed the deal. It was a cast like me. It was like, yo, what exactly. about that shit? He, he, <laughs> exactly. Spotify was thought they were slick and they didn't they didn't upload them no, no. them ones on, on the on thing. They on YouTube. They bro. tried to scrub it, Man, you know, and as if it didn't exist. Well, we we saw the same thing with Don Nimes. We gonna, we saw the same thing with Alex Jones. What happened? Worst case scenario, say he Spotify gets rid of him. Whatever, he'll go somewhere else and make more money. YouTube took Alex Jones off. And this motherfucker's still making it. Man, but he a racist yeah. motherfucker. Period. Oh yeah, definitely. Let me say this: if um, if they get rid of Joe Rogan, if Spotify gets rid of Joe Rogan. And there's a there's a space there where you guys need a podcast. Craig Fax. All day. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Yeah. That's good, good drop, Ty. Yeah. That'll be a wonderful addition to the make us rich. Yeah, yeah, make us yeah. rich. Man. Make us rich. We got the LGBTQ community back there. <laughs> We are on blood, and, 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 and it's just dead uh, ass, dead the travesty that they ain't fucking with us yet. Yeah. Did he lose <laughs> any of his like? He's still doing UFC and all that other stuff. Oh, did he lose he's 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 anybody? Right. Hey, he's well, he he's he's Joe Rogan is in alignment. His audience. This is why I said I just called him. He, the his guests that he has on, he has a lot of guests on his show that 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 push that all right agenda. It's a major part of his fan base, and he knows it. And so that, that's how you really got to judge. You judge people by the company that they keep. People like Joe Rogan, people like Bill Maher, these people who are liberal, smoke weed with you, listen to hip-hop, do all that stuff. But then when you ain't around, you see they got this motherfucker who basically openly talked about eugenicism against your race. And, and you cool with this motherfucker? No, no, no. And so those are, those are the like one. the one. When you blow up, it's going to be a clip they pull up from this show. Mm-hmm. What clip you think it's gonna be? It's gonna be a lot. Of, <laughs> hey, it it, no, I, I go way harder. On, I, I go way harder on my show. Yeah. It's, it's gonna be. I try to. I try to hold back a little bit because your show. My show I go way harder. It's probably gonna be something for my show. Like I'm already knowing. I'm already knowing. I'm not mainstream approved. I, that's just not gonna happen. Right. <laughs> not right. for me. Right. Internet, y'all fucking right. me, nigga. They're trying, nigga. Nah, they, that's the mainstream. <laughs> yeah, you, right. Did you see what I was on Fox? So yeah, them niggas was playing games with me for real. Yeah, I don't like crap. I don't like. Wow, okay. Like, what no. clip they gonna pull up with you, Doc? Shit, I don't know. When you go to win that motherfucking Grammy. Oh, they gonna definitely it, got it. It's gonna be shit. something, Some man. Shit with me saying something about Kanye West or something. You definitely <laughs> <laughs> Kanye West gonna come out the back with that you fucking definitely can't go to De- You definitely can't go to Detroit. <laughs> oh, you're going to Detroit all day. No, you uh, said that you could whoop Detroit in here. Oh, he did. <laughs> <laughs> That's where my family from. That nigga said, I'll whoop Detroit, nigga. That was because Charlie was light skinned. 
<laughs> Cali Charlie had pissed you off. What are you finna do? <laughs> Man. Detroit grind. I thought, yeah. like, what are you doing? <laughs> 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 they gonna think that's cocaine. <laughs> yeah, Detroit. What you got for us, uh, uh, Snaps? Smack Snaps. Snaps. All right, all right, let's go. I got a little bit of uh, tree talk. You know what I mean? Let's talk okay, about some okay, tree. Okay. You know what I mean? So it's, it's been pr researchers say that cannabis labels are often wrong and misleading and that there's no genetic distinction between sativas and indica. This motherfucker so let me, no let me back label it up. on it. <laughs> right, right. Blaze. That should have to be indica for sure. I don't know what the fuck this is, nigga. That's some right. good shit, man. That's that's good. Good. Like a little bit. That shit yeah. good, though. That shit got These drinks Blaze brought us out here. Got us up gone. <laughs> But so so for those for those that don't smoke those that don't smoke marijuana or weed let me go ahead and break it down for you uh, it's pretty much the strands are pretty much breaking up into two categories indica and sativa yeah, sativa is uh, supposed to be a head high you usually do that uh, when you got shit to do you know what I mean you can move around and all that the yeah, indica 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 is the body high that's the one that relaxes you and, you and gets you <laughs> yeah, and gets you down or whatever so. In California, we know weed is legal. I don't know how much body. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the state of California, we do know that weed is legal, so there's dispensary every, dispensaries everywhere. So what this is saying is that when you go in there and they, try, they sell you sativa or, uh, excuse, or indica, that there's really no difference. He said because they grow them together and usually they overlap. So by the time it's broken down and put into the jars, ain't no telling what, where, what's what. So then when you get it, the, 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 re the only reason you can tell is because that's the reason they give it to you to smell. Because the terpines in it, uh, the, pretty much that's, the, that's how you can tell the distinction. Yeah, sweet sativa, and, and sativa. feel it in your fingers. Yeah, they too. say they give it to you because sativa actually smells like a fruit or so, oh, like a fruit right. or something sweet or some kind of tea. Or some kind of tea. <laughs> right. And they say the indica smells more like the earth. It smells more like, like grass, mm -hmm. like natural. But the problem like is... Blaze nobody. <laughs> the problem is that nobody wants their weed, wants their weed smelling like the earth, smelling like dirt. Go to the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the bed. <laughs> 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 they, when they were telling the dog, what did uh, they tell him? Hey. Go to the crate. Go to the crate. Nigga, they got your prom picture on this bottle. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, so you said that they, it's, because, it's because of the breakdown. You said? Yeah. You say it's because once they break it down, they don't know what's in what. Is that what they're saying? Right. So basically the difference is between terpenes. I guess you use like a single terpene for the uh, sativa and you load it up for the indica. But when they're growing them together, usually it's, it's overlapping into one another. So usually. They, they're right. hybridizing. They're but, hybrid. so, they're hybridizing. This might, this might grow OG. And that's where the hybrid comes from. But, OG got to be grown by itself. But technically they're saying there's really no genetic distinction between the two. They haven't found anything. Look, look, so. It might not be a genetic distinction, but I know when I smoke yeah. Jack Herrera, and that was when my, I smoke Jack Herrera, that shit going to have me all up in here and bright eyed. I got to put my glasses on. If I Absolutely. smoke some bubble cushion, it's time to go to sleep. Yeah. And that was another good what, thing about the that. Effect? They said that, what was that? Uh, when, when, <laughs> when, 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 since they told you that you're going to be, uh, you know what I'm saying? It could, it could be the whole placebo effect. They I say this is a tea. Yeah. So they said Oops. that uh, you got the sativa and shit. You know, you think it's daytime weed, uh, you know, keep you going and shit. And so that's how you act. You, you be cool. And the other shit they tell you is, you know, go to sleep at nighttime where you smoke so you lay down. And, yeah, what if, what if, you know, like he said, there's no genetic distinction. What if that's really the case? I mean, yeah. when, when I smoke, old, when I smoke <laughs> Granddaddy Purple, nigga, I'm fine. Yeah. But in about 20 minutes into that video game, nigga, <laughs> I ain't thinking about no what. I'm, nigga, 20 minutes into that video game, I'm ready to go to sleep. Nigga. What about they, what? I don't fuck with that shit. They label that shit like that. Like, what you gonna do? Bring it back? All right. That shit don't do what they say? Yeah, and that's what I think, too. and that's what it said. It said uh, some certain titles like Lemon Haze and all the OGs, they may not even be the same strand. They just put it on there. So, oh, yeah, that's, oh, yeah, that's true. That's, 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 right. They definitely don't know what I don't and, fuck with them dispensaries. No, I you don't You got to have competition. No, no. That's I why I feel, like, I feel no. like you got Pepsi, you got Coca-Cola. You got to have competition <laughs> to sell more. So I feel like why not put two different names on it? But I'm like you, Duane. I know the difference, bro. Like, you know what I mean? If somebody handed, let me ask y'all that. Somebody <coughs> hands you a blunt or whatever, you hitting it. Can you tell which one is which by the time you're done blowing? Once you smell if they it, don't tell you. Like, I, can, like, I, can tell like when I can tell when I'm smelling it. Yeah, yeah it's absolutely. Like, yeah. As, soon as, I, as soon as you give me the blunt, I'm like, okay. I know yeah. <laughs> Damn. Duane will bite a piece of chicken and say, 
This chicken wasn't farm raised. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Uh, hey, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I think you think I'm thinking about farm raising when I'm eating my fat ass nigga. Yeah, nah. You think I got time to think about farms, motherfucker? <laughs> like I'm going to work. Right. Okay, uh, that was some interesting shit. Snaps, what else you got for us? Absolutely. All right, so again, we're going to get into some health. You know what I mean? Uh, I know that everybody is not capable of doing, you know, the running and all that type of stuff, the higher events of uh, <laughs> CJ Show. Nigga, nigga. <laughs> I, I, just, I just went to the Dewan, that's all I did. You never oh, you know, you're looking at your trainer, nigga. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh nigga. I just looked over here, bro. I didn't even say nothing. So pretty much for those people that's just getting a start on the working out and all that, they want to start out work, I mean walking, as opposed to running and lifting weights or whatnot. I just got like five quick quick tips for y'all, y'all beginners, y'all walkers, or people that that may not be beginners but they like to walk as opposed to doing uh, the harder stuff. Uh, Talk about walking with a leash or without? A leash. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, just do my show. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't get that goddamn Dollar General hat, I'm out of here, my nigga. <laughs> that nigga's the Dollar General? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga look like, a, he look like his name is Mavis. That <laughs> <laughs> nigga like, is that you? <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you nigga. got Michael Jackson glove on your scalp, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> I like that. That's hilarious. General. So here we go. Five, <laughs> five quick steps uh, for walking. <laughs> The first one is walk with a purpose. Understand that you're doing it for a reason. That you when you're walking a dog? Huh? When you're walking a dog? Yeah, understand you're doing it, you're walking for a purpose. You know what I mean? Uh, you're, not, you're not stepping out the house. You're not, it's not like regular walking. So when you're out there, you know, you see a lot of people walking and lollygagging, having conversations, not really forgetting that you're actually walking for a purpose. So don't lose that. Don't lose that when you're doing it. Secondly, pick up the pace. Like I said, most people are out there with their headphones on, they're looking around, checking out women, hollering at each other, you know what I mean? So, yeah, so remember that you're doing it with a purpose, pick up the pace. And no I said, right. absolutely, right. challenge yourself. That's, and I, like, like Uncle Ty said, try to work yourself up to a run, you know what I mean? If you walk in this, walk and then jog. And then maybe you get to a straight jog to eventually you run it. Tell us how the ninjas do it, my man. How <laughs> <laughs> y'all do the ninja training? What y'all do, man? Oh, a one arm car wheel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm <a> swirl, <laughs> <laughs> so if you're struggling and you need some help, just contact Coach Otto. I'll get you back out there running. Otto gonna wear that, you, uh, <laughs> Otto gonna wear that supreme glitter beanie he got on. <laughs> the third one, get an accountability partner. You know what I mean? Somebody to hold you accountable. So those days when you're sitting at home and you're like, nah, I don't feel like doing this, or you got the urge and then you get, you know, you, you're sitting around doing something else, get an accountability partner, somebody to call you and say, let's get it out here. You know what I mean? Uncle Ty, what, what's your famous line? I'm get, out there. Get out there. Get out there with what does somebody. That look like? Like Except Todd, I've been calling you about some working out, man, and you ain't been out there. <laughs> push ups, listen, push-ups and jumping jacks is free, man. I get it in at the house, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Man, you know. How many oh, push-ups you, you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. How many push-ups you got right now? Right now? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I can do seven. Thirty? I say thirty. <laughs> I say forty. Right? Oh, I get the wiggling. Oh, I got I got fifty on Todd over Duncan. And push-ups. Push-ups. Uh, I got 50 over you, nigga. What you talking about? Who's out here and shit? Oh. 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 I'm in better oh. shape than you. Yeah. That's what oh. light-skinned niggas say. I'm not oh. oh. I look better oh. than you. Oh. Oh. I look oh. than you, oh. look. Oh. Oh. Let me oh. take you. Oh. Oh. Let me oh. take oh. your oh. little ass in that gym, nigga. You free old freak, you old nut freak ass ball. Don't make me take your little ass in the gym. These niggas are freaky ass nut boys. Freaky ass nut boys. That's that light skin shit. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. And hey, that nigga don't Maxwell give a fuck. Video. This nigga on. This nigga on something. That nigga watch. That nigga. That nigga listen to the D'Angelo before he got in. You don't get your. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, 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 out here looking like after seven. I need quick butter. Body look like a block of shea butter. <laughs> 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 that nigga 
was damn. in shape, but that was fun. That nigga trying to start a movement. <laughs> Come on, your turn, man. See, I told you. <laughs> he said my turn. Yeah. No, he take, he take his turn off. Eight, eight titties gonna come out. You gonna see that. Nah, ain't with me. Yeah, I'm not. You, you got me, my nigga. You got me. Uh, <laughs> you won. <weren't. laughs> Since you got your uh, shirt off, trying to be all buff, you gotta get my thirty today. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? What y'all got? He owe me thirty push up. Uh, that, 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 that nigga. That nigga. Hey, that nigga. Hey, that nigga. Hey, that nigga. That nigga. That nigga. Trying to drag the bandana across his chest. Get these lashes, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. You know that nigga, oh, you know nigga Greg 30 lashes, man? Hey, look. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> nigga said, now you got some shirt on. Now that you naked. <laughs> now that you naked. Oh, oh, let my man put his clothes on, bro. What you got in them drinks, uh, my nigga Blaze? <laughs> <laughs> he put it right there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I should've known. Shit tasty. <laughs> shit tasted like Ruth. I should've known. <laughs> that nigga got... That nigga put a Mickey in there, man. That nigga, <laughs> that nigga got... He was handing them out to certain people, yo. <laughs> you get this. You get this. Drink it all now. Drink it all. Man. Man. Oh. That nigga got... <laughs> this shit was good. This shit was good. Yeah, they are. What else you got for it? Let me give you the last two. Oh. Uh, the last two, man. <laughs> are you still on your journey? I promise the people five, man. I gave them three. You know what I mean? <laughs> the last two, I'm gonna get it quick. Uh, try an incline. You know what I mean? Challenge yourself. You know what I mean? Just go yeah. walk up a hill or something like that, as opposed to just walking on the flat. On the flat. Uh, Facts. That nigga, that nigga show called the Holy Ghost. Yeah. yeah. No, it's real. No, that's, that's real. Deal. That's real. Go ahead, go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh no, that's how I lost my way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I had uh, was walking up. Uh, I was at Planet Fitness walking yeah, up incline. Walk up the hill to get that sack of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Walking with a purpose. <laughs> He's doing it. Yeah, and, and he made it up the pace. He was doing all that. Nigga, they made your jacket in arts and craft. Yeah. Uh, hey, wait till this appears. I'm saying his shit like I just gotta work. You <laughs> <laughs> stupid. Yeah, yo, yo, yo. You stupid. <laughs> Nah, but on some real shit though, nah, what I do is that, uh, like, uh, when I go to Planet Fitness, bro, I keep the incline all the way up to like 15, bro, and then I'm at like 3 point miles, like 3.3, yeah. I put it on level 3, bro, and then basically I just do that for 30 minutes to an hour, and what I learned is... I'm about your Zumba class. Yeah. You stupid, you stupid, man. <laughs> hey, if you tell them about your belly roll lessons, nigga, I got you. <laughs> I want to know you. So do you pants down when you're tired? <laughs> Are you a grown ass man for asking that question? <laughs> you wanna know what I what I feel like when I'm tired, nigga? He said dog spit in your mouth. Nah, but um, that's what you're trying to say. We ain't listening to Curtis Mayfield. <laughs> but nah, um, nah, but keep the incline up, man, because uh, honestly, when you uh, run uh, with, I mean, walk with the incline up, bro, you burn more calories. You know what I mean? Because if you run in, run out of breath, and also breathe in your mouth, uh, I mean, in your, uh, through your nose. <laughs> right. Try to sneak, yeah, try to sneak shit in. Man, yeah. man. Man, niggas, man, man, man y'all. Are you a grown ass man? <laughs> I ain't but when I mean breathe in from your nose and out your mouth, bro, you know what I'm saying? I feel like uh so what you do through your mouth out your nose? Can you bark and breathe at the same time? You the only nigga breathing through his mouth out his nose. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we all that nigga mustache be warming up. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. <laughs> but uh, uh yeah, but no, that's what that really helps though. Incline is everything, bro. I don't run out of breath, none of that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? So incline is a really an easy way to lose weight without like really struggling. Thanks. And the last tip, just do it, man. Get out there and do it. You know what I mean? Stop. What about up. the back of your neck weight? How you get that up? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I just don't like about my shit, nigga. Right here, nigga. Meaty. Yeah. That little meat that's, right that's there. That's that black mesh. That's bad. where your nose start. And where your owner take it to get your ears clean? <laughs> Uh, uh, 
just do it is everything, man. I got. That should have been first. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just do it is number one. But it's man. a mental thing, though. I'm gonna keep it 100 because you could go out to the gym and then go eat a burger like like right. Man, I used to go to the gym and go right that's to IHOP after, knew, nigga. That's how we knew cocaine is what did it for. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, I'm telling you, consistency is key, bro. And another thing I do, bro, I eat prunes, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I eat some. What was that other word you used before that? What, you say? <laughs> what, eat prunes? No, no, before that. What'd you say you do? So I forgot. Oh, yeah. Consistency. Yeah, oh, yeah, consistency, yeah. I consistently see you with a motherfucking pastrami. Nigga, 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 nigga. Chili and cheese. Chili and cheese. Nah, but um, prunes will help your digestive system. You're throwing up in the bathroom, man. And it said finger. Maybe that motherfucking beard. That's what it is. Yeah, he's stupid, man. You believe me, man? Hey, your, your jeans got caught in a paper shredder. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta, you gotta wear that bomb. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, all right, man. You believe me? Uh -huh. Are you believe me? He's like, what? Are you believe me? Nah, hell no. How you get that weight off that fast? Man, I just, this motherfucker just told you to incline. Okay. <laughs> he said, he said I just told you. He said, I just told you, man. I walked with a purpose. That nigga been chasing that basketball in the backyard. Ah, <laughs> 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 nigga, stupid, nigga. Stupid. This nigga AR app got jokes. Yo, my whole ain't well pussy. Yeah, I don't know. What the fuck you doing with prunes? No, that shit, uh. Nigga Pruno? You stupid. That nigga up the jail. Okay, I see how you lose the way. Nigga, the jailhouse done. That nigga ass believe me. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to let y'all niggas know. That nigga be trying to make his ass throw up You take. You take the seats off of all your bikes and pop willies. And you told me that was six months ago. No, it's okay, man. If you believe me, this shit, bro. We love you. We're going to keep feeding you. Yeah. We're going to still keep dropping changing your hat. You know what I'm saying? We're going to buy your mustache, nigga. And some shelter. All right. And that nigga, that nigga showed me in the bathroom throwing up. He he put a speaker. I can't talk. He took karaoke with the mic and the speaker, and he put it to the shower so the shower's louder through the speaker, so he could throw up in peace. So nobody here would. That was long. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that was that. You should have left it off. You should have left it off. Yeah, left that mystery up there. Like, yeah, man. You grabbed that speaker. That was, that was funny. Yeah, <laughs> right. But all that other shit was bullshit. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> yeah, he gonna whisper in your ear. He definitely gonna whisper some shit. That nigga got that. That nigga got that Shaquille on the Kazam hat. <laughs> <laughs> what are we, Max? We genie. <laughs> Sonny is proof that Kid Ray wasn't dead in a year. Yeah. Who? Right. Kid yeah, Ray. Yeah. Lean, lean on me, Kid yeah. Ray. Oh, 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 oh. This is hard. They fucking up oh. Kid Ray. Cool Kid Ray. Kid Ray didn't die in a year. Kid Ray said he didn't die in a year. Mr. Clark, the fuck? Mr. Clark, we're rounding him up. We're rounding him up. That's crazy. Kid Ray, man. Shout out. Shout out to most free. Shout out to my nigga chilling, my nigga chilling, man. Kid Ray. 80s drug dealer in New York. <laughs> you know what I mean, son? That nigga like That's Marlon Wayans from trying out for a new role in the back, nigga. Yeah, 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 but, uh, White yeah. boys. That nigga look like he about to. He look like he about to. I'm saying it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's almost, yeah. almost, almost a month. He look like he about to uh, spit out his Adam's apple. Right? <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, what you, what you got for us, Blaze? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so laws like the same sex marriage and whatnot, right? Mm -hmm. You guys know what that's about, right? You know, or what it was for, or it was for taxes. Yeah, <laughs> taxes. Anyway, it's just, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's some believable <laughs> shit, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was a case of uh, Oberfield and uh, Hodges, you know, back in uh, 2015, Rick Michigan. Hodges. Yeah, correct. Uh, oh, hell no. Yeah. <laughs> no, I said it. I'm just rubbing. So these two women basically was married and, and, and then got divorced and then they wanted to argue over the custody of the kid. You know, the only one of the women could have had the baby. So the one who didn't have the baby, you know, you know, wanted more rights or wanted, you know, to split up custody and whatnot. So, um, so you know, they passed that law, the Same Sex Marriage Act, basically. You know that if you if you play parental roles. Uh, 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 if you provide parental duties, then you're entitled to, you know, other parental rights, the same as a man and a woman, right? So that's that's really no big deal until you combine that with laws like the equitable parent doctrine and, and shit like that, because then you end up in a situation where if you just being a, a, a friend to a to a friend, a, a neighbor or something, you know, a woman says, hey, you know, Dewan, can you uh, can you watch my son? Really? Can you teach my son to play drums? You're a father now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as soon as that nigga yeah. get good, nigga, you yeah. good. Oh, uh, yeah. And you don't charge her for it. That's important that you don't charge her for it. Otherwise, it's business. So if you if you do fatherly duties like teach her son to play drums or one day, you know, you know, she was late from work and you didn't want him home alone. You said, well, you can bring him over here with my boy and play video games until you get home or whatever. That she then can take you to court and sue you uh, for child support. What? Uh, <laughs> what yeah. That, I'm yeah. confused, but yeah. fuck that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, then what they said was not to do that again. <laughs> he did that again, and then they did it again for that reason. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. Nah, that's yeah. some crazy shit. Yeah. So even if you man up and help somebody else with their child too much, you could be held financially viable and may possibly have to pay parental that's support. The law? That is the law. I mean, she'd have to find a, 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 a family law attorney to handle that and and all, and all they need is, is a good faith claim, and, and that's it. Good faith claim, you're good to go. That's yeah, I've seen Dewan teaching him, and he seemed to be getting better. I, you know, yeah, he, he, Dewan did keep him that time or two, and she, I'm, that's a bit extreme. So more, more, more realistically, you know, you know, you guys date. More realistically, like if, you, if, if a chick had a boyfriend, and they, they, right, were, there for right. like, they were together so, for like three years. Yeah, so you guys out here dating these single mothers and whatnot, and, and, and Playing those yeah. guys. Stepping up to the plate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good black man. You're <laughs> a yeah. fucking idiot, Get nigga. Get the niggas out, though. Let's get the niggas out. What's the statute of limitations? How long we got till we got to get out of here? <laughs> I, I, I doubt the parental. I, 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 I doubt it's seven years like the common law shit. I, I'm pretty sure it's a, real, it's a short oh. amount of time. Chicks be to do for like three years. When they use colorful language like good faith claim, 
Yeah. That's four or five of her homegirls saying, I thought he was the daddy. Yeah. The kid calling him daddy. He did fatherly things. I mean, and that's just regular shit that we do as real niggas. I'll help somebody out. You know what good faith claim means? How, how the good your lawyer is, the faith Right, the right. That's what it means. Whether you, you claim a, a victory or not. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, but depending on how good your faith is, uh, determine yeah. what you can claim. That's some crazy yeah. shit. So, yeah, all, them, all y'all dudes out there, they, yeah. they be single women with kids. Man. and nothing, nothing wrong with that. You know, do what you do. But no. the law yeah. trying to put y'all in the in quagmire. In the quagmire. We talking, you know, the, the young dudes. I mean, everybody should pay attention, but you young dudes, man. That child support shit is for real, man. That's a lot of time. Ladies, yeah. ladies, ladies, don't you know don't I mean? don't don't stoop low and do nothing shit like this. If it's over, if he left you and it don't work out, just let it push on. Don't be filing yeah. lawsuits on people. And, unless he's rich. If they, if, they, if, they, if they didn't do nothing to, to destroy you like financially, don't try to short it financially. Just yeah. move on. Right. Yeah. And you're not that little boy daddy nigga. Take your ass home at night. Quit playing this man. PlayStation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ain't going back to PS4, nigga. Ain't going back to PS4. Nigga, do anything to stay on that PS5, nigga. Nah, nigga. I like, I like her though. I like the way she. Like, get out of there, fellas. Stop doing yeah. that shit. Yeah, niggas be homosexuals, yeah. nigga. Trust yeah. me, I was one. I fucked the state somewhere before. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. In life, it happens. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga, like, if you, you got to be careful with that shit, mm-hmm. dude. especially if you send her, she sent her about leaving. You leaving, nigga? Mm-hmm. Cause usually you just leave while that bitch at work. If you come home, you gone. You know what I'm saying? Take your little bag or whatever. You get up, you get up out of there. Right. But now, you know what I'm saying, nigga? Hey, you been here? Huh? He ain't gotta give me some rent about child support, nigga. Right. What, 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 kind of, what kind of sexual did he? Did you say? Hobo. Hobo. Oh. Oh, you was, you was, you was the I'm like, no, I'm like, that's a, that's a slippery I slope. That nigga, man, gotta, nah, I thought we was snaps, you, man. Snaps was good news, uh, too. You snaps was on PS5. You said something on PS5, right? I was lost at PS5. I got a PS5. Hey, Todd, God damn, good thing we ain't in court, man. You just, snaps, these snaps, too. That's what Nino Brown did, right? That's what Nino Brown did. It's bigger than Nino Brown. It's bigger than Nino Brown. Uh, yeah, that's some cold shit, man. Oh, man, cold as a mother. You gotta turn your back on these kids if they're not yours, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Period point blank, man. Yeah, you got 30 oh, days. Oh, you got some shit. You got 30 days. Set your hey. phone, man. 30 days. 30 days. <laughs> that alarm ball start arguing. Yeah. 30 days. <laughs> you might, I'm gonna say, give yourself a week. Yeah. Give yourself a week. Give yourself a week. Yeah. Filming yourself leaving. Right. Oh, the yeah. day is this she day. Said, filming yourself. I'm moving out. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Homies helping me. Blaze helping me. Blaze helping me move. I'm out of here. <laughs> My grandpa, <laughs> sister, the grand. <laughs> you know what you uh, can do? Follow the judge on Instagram. Who the judge? Who the judge? Who the judge? Who's the grand? You know what you can do though? <laughs> Leave, nigga. <laughs> yeah. That's what you gotta do. So what, what you do is like you just hand her like two hundred bucks, like, and hey, let me give you this cash and just sell me, just sell me the money real quick. I'm gonna give you this cash because I need it in my account, and you just give her the cash. She say the money. You go to court. I'm like, hey, this bitch paid me. You got the two hundred dollars proof right there. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that's we don't shit. fuck with bitches that got checking accounts. <laughs> What the fuck is you you know, fuck Walmart cards, <laughs> Walmart cards, <laughs> cash app cards. That's a good point though, because the bitches with checking accounts ain't just throwing their pussy to any old motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. bitches got you in the bag. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, the bitch <laughs> dropped the <laughs> sheet. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All my bitches in check systems, nigga. <laughs> Check <laughs> system. That's the real? Yeah. 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 I'm in check system right now for that, nigga. I fucked them over. You gotta, you, you gotta know them the ones we talking about. Them yeah. the ones play them type of games. Yeah. Check yeah. system pussy. Check system. That is true. Yeah. 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 Shitheads. That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, bitch, you can do yeah. shit together and be petty, too. Now, now I know right? somebody. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I see some rich, boy. petty bitches. Yeah. I know somebody fucked by a rich, petty bitches. Rich, petty bitches. That was a lawyer. Probably. Wrong. Yeah, yeah. They, they see they get you because they know what to do. Yeah, she know what to yeah, do. They she know what to do. Every situation. Lawyer yeah. bitches got weak pussy though. You ever fucking lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never fucking lawyer. They think they they, they they think they know everything, my nigga. They, 
<laughs> Any bitch thinks she know everything got a weak pussy. Yeah, weak pussy instantly. Yeah, bitch. It's still arguing, bitch. That's, that's what my head said in my head. You ever date a lawyer, bitch? Anybody? Yeah. I date a lawyer. She got on my motherfucking nerves too. Yeah. <laughs> they take too long. They they all every fucking response is thoughtful. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Just respond, bitch. They want to think and <laughs> she don't want you to come back. <laughs> take notes and pondering and shit. <laughs> Can I get back to you on that? No, <laughs> bitch. I want to argue right now, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get back to me. I might not feel that way tomorrow, bitch. I want to argue right now. Let's be on their phone looking at her calendar. Let's do the 13th. <laughs> 13th is better for me, can you? Yeah, 13th better for me. <laughs> Smart bitches is overrated, man. Oh, uh, totally. <laughs> yeah. so, you know, I, don't I don't want no great. smart bitch. You know what I'm saying? Hey, why would you want one if you're a man? I had a. I ran into a bad one the other day. She's. She said that same shit. Let me think about what I want to say. I want to make sure I put together a cogent sentence. And so yeah. she said, um, "Get the fuck out!" Of here. I called the police. You should have called the police on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Who taught you how to read, bitch? <laughs> That nigga circus start going out of place, nigga. That <laughs> <laughs> nigga start. Uh, you niggas are degenerates. <laughs> you like a smart woman? That's what it is. Yeah, of course. Uh, pussy. Smart women. Yeah, ain't no way. Are you talking about like? Are you talking about? Are you talking about like? I ain't talking about like intelligence. I'm talking about like just she just book smart. Like she knows. A book smart. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. A lot of book smart was a. I mean, I like intelligent ones. Yeah, that's my yeah. opinion. I don't like none of that shit on the bitch. Book smart, intelligent, none of that shit. Try to get in there. They went right back in. Like, no. I want a body I can put a brain into myself. Okay, I see. Did he take it back out? Yeah, man, I just want to know. That's too much work. I don't want that, man. Yeah, fuck that book. If I didn't write it. Yeah, yeah, I want a bit woman that's gonna <laughs> blindly do what I say. I'm telling you, man. She <laughs> said she'd give me some brain, Cynthia yeah. G. Uh, oh yeah, Cynthia yeah, G can get it. Yeah. Yeah. Blaze gonna be in your inbox it. before the show's over. That's how you <laughs> After, after I do a credit check. <laughs> yeah, yeah, smart bitches is overrated. How can you get anything accomplished in life with a woman that's smart? Uh, yeah. <laughs> is this a serious question? I'm serious. Man. If how's she gonna know when to take the lead if she thinks she's smarter than you? How you gonna how she gonna know when to let you take the lead if she smarter than you? No, she's she's smart, but she still knows her. She still knows her place. That ain't like, no, it, it, it's a smart. It's a lot of intelligent women out there that still want to be a woman. Matter of fact, most a real woman they, they don't want. They don't even want to get in the man's role. They don't want that. Right. Not a, not a truly smart one. I, I'm talking. You talk about these smart dumb motherfuckers. What yeah, y'all talking about? Yeah, yeah, that's what we're talking. But, but a woman that's truly intelligent, she don't even want a man's role. Right. It's not, that's never even a fight. Thank right. you. She yeah. wants to be a lady. Thank you. You know what I mean? And so, and so it's just one of those things where it's just like, because when you got a smart one, you ain't got nothing. Like, that's who wants to put that much work into a person when I could be building some shit over here? Uh, I could be building some shit while her smart ass is helping me handle the paperwork on the back end. If she's bank. so smart, why she need you? <laughs> that's why she's smart. That's, that's what I'm saying. This she knows she, 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 know she need me. That's why that's she's what smart. I'm <laughs> bitch, if you, if, bitch, <laughs> like my daddy used to say, bitch, you. You know every goddamn you know every goddamn thing else. Why you asking me? Because <laughs> you ain't that smart. You ain't smart as you think you. Just because you go to college and got a good job, that don't mean you smart. Now that's true. That don't mean that's you true. smart. You're a good slave. Yeah. Because a lot of times it's the, that's the dumbest thing you can do. Like, because a lot of people put their pride in their in what they do for other people. Like, if your whole identity as a person and your pride is I have a degree from this school and I work at that job eighty right. hours a week. For something that I can't pass out to my kids, what, that ain't, that ain't smart. What else do they have? They spent so much time trying to get those goddamn credentials, and they have no idea how to be the only thing that they have to be, which is a woman. Right. Yeah, that. If you went yeah, to the school smart. of womanhood, that'll reward you a lot more than a goddamn degree. And you won't be in debt. <laughs> you never have yeah. to fight with a smart hey. woman over who's your over, credit, over your credit is be, what? Your credit be through the roof if you just be a woman. Get a degree in that. That's, you know that's what I'm true, too. Yeah. That's real spirit. They got to make a home. They got to they gotta aspire to Why would I want a granddaughter too smart for... Blazing, set up. Why would I want a granddaughter that's too smart for her grandfather and murdered the hand taught her? These bitches... 
think they too good for the shit they come from. Meaning like the men in their life, a lot of times a woman's reflection on how shit goes are based on the men that were in her life. But in our generation, a lot of women think they're too good for what they came from. And so they create this whole liberalized thought process of what a woman is supposed to be to a man, but it's not connected to anything but how they feel and what they think it should be. They think they better than like their parents, in other words. I'm not going to do it. My mama and granddaddy, mm-hmm. mama and dad, they, do, they say dumb shit like that. Right. But if, your mama and grandmama was married and you ain't. Yeah, if, you, if you weren't taught how to be a woman by a man, I mean a man in your life, daddy, granddaddy, then you don't know shit. You don't know a motherfucking thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, because, you know, I don't have a daughter, but if I had a daughter, you know what she'd be aspiring to do? The same thing she'd see her mother doing. You know what right. I mean? Mm-hmm. Taking care of daddy and whatever that whatever that entails, you know, uh, uh, organizing paperwork, organizing me, prepping meals, uh, making sure my office is tight. With the, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know, you know, little girls see that and they'd be like, yeah, daddy, I can do it. Daddy, I, you know? Right. Mommy ain't here right Woman now. Woman is I, a servant. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just keeping 100, my nigga. <laughs> how, you, how you a woman and you're not serving no man? I'm what make you, a, a man is what makes you a woman and a woman is what makes me a man. Thank you. So if you're not serving a purpose greater than you, you a stupid broad. <laughs> you a dumb bitch. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck how much college you got. Oh, you man. a dumb bitch. That's why you always on vacation, always traveling, cause you running from yourself. Uh, that 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 education got you lonely than a motherfucker out there, right, bitch? <laughs> yeah, they convinced women that being in that position to organize a home is a is a lesser thing when that's actually a great thing. The greatest, great, the greatest. You, it's the greatest thing a woman can do. Just like because it's nature, you give a boy a bunch of blocks, he's gonna knock them hoes down and build them back up. You give a woman a block, a set of blocks, she's gonna organize them by color, shape, and then things like that. Right. That's just natural. Like it's man's right. role natural. to build shit. Be out there creating shit, bringing more money what in. What are you job to at, organize everything he brings? in? What are you as a human? Period, male or female? If you're not serving a purpose bigger than you, right? You are nothing. You're a nothing human being if life is always about what you want. And that's what I'm getting at when it comes to the female perspective. I apply that same principle to me. I'm not saying I'm greater than it. But if you ain't a servant, get the fuck away from me. Please. Because in this room specifically, everybody offer me something, I offer everybody something. We all offer each other something great. Mm-hmm. If you a motherfucker around me and you just taking, you you gonna get, you know what I mean? So why would I want a broad in my house? Uh, you know, because I got to be able to leave her unsupervised <laughs> for periods of time. <laughs> for periods of time. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I got to. Oh, she got to go in the back. I don't want to have to lock her in the backyard with show. <laughs> I got to she like, even the word independent, being an independent woman, that shit, like, you can't take that mentality into a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Because a relationship is two people working together towards a common goal. If right. you just independent, bitch, you by yourself. Well, I got my shit together. Yeah. I don't know about you. Bitch, that ain't a team. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you even on that... Even that level, but women are taught that. They taught like men want a strong, independent woman. No, we don't. No, the fuck we don't. <laughs> no, we do not. No. We don't want a strong, independent woman. No, we want a bitch that listen. And then you, you see, you see, <laughs> and you see that you see that in church. Like when I like my last like in church when I was still going, you saw more and more churches just full of women. Yeah. yeah. And then the, the women in the church, they, they bossy as hell. Like all right. they do is run their goddamn right. mouth. It's because they talk a lot of shit and then uh, you know they but they love the Lord, but they just stay single in the motherfucker. It's because right. it's like you said, the natural order of things. They in church cause they know they gotta mind somebody. Right. But they just specifically saying they ain't gonna mind you. Yeah. Right. Boy, that's that's some real cool. shit. Yeah, pastor them I saw I saw pastors break up whole good ass marriages yeah, because the so. women was he listening more to what Pastor to say, and then come on, the man trying to run the house. Yeah, that was and she no like whole, Pastor saying, Whoopty Wham, but Whoopty Wham. That wasn't no whole good ass marriage. I told you, my woman couldn't read the book unless I was the author. Yeah. <laughs> Not even the Bible, nigga? 
Let me tell you what the nigga baby. was really saying. Yeah. <laughs> this nigga yeah. sound like BB King. Tell you. Don't answer the door, huh? Let me tell you. Yeah, not, not what they saying is what I'm saying. I mean, this, you know, I always this is what I tell them, man. They gotta know who's who in the zoo. You know what I'm saying? Right. If you don't know who's who in the zoo, shit gonna be fucked up. So I don't give a fuck how much money she make, how many degrees she drop. They drop us off in the woods. I'm gonna tell her, grab that wood, put some leaves in your pocket, grab that dirt, shut the fuck up, and come off. Right. Guess what she gonna do? She better do that if she wanna survive. Y'all not gonna call nobody to get y'all out the woods? <laughs> I'll pick you up. Man. Yeah. They said, what if we land on Mars? Okay, it's dirt rocks everywhere. I say, you better grab that dirt rock. <laughs> <laughs> he might be dangerous in Mark. Nah, the nigga completely right. It's life or death. A lot of shit is life or death that I think sometimes capable women don't recognize as being that important. You feel what I'm saying? Like something as little as like, you know, a lot of women have friends that may not necessarily be healthy to have. I'm never the type to try to control who my girl hang with, but that disgruntled chick that mm. don't shit work out for, mm. that's going to be the best to turn your bitch against that's you. She either going to start eating that's your true. girl pussy or she going to get your girl to look at you in a way that is a reflection of how all the men she hangs with have done her. You know yeah, what I mean? That, that, that comes yeah. around, but, yeah. like, but also, like, as, a, as, a, as a man, you can identify that trait in a woman early. Right. The, the women right. that won't, that's, that's going to be too pig-headed to, to, to follow what you say in, a, in an important situation. You can figure that out in the first few weeks. First, in worst case scenario, first two months. You can figure that out. Yeah. Now, if you here's a problem. This is where niggas fuck up. You choose to wife her up anyway. You choose to go ahead and drop a few kids with her anyway. Right. You knew that shit when you got yeah. there. Now you bitching and complaining about what happened. Once right. you identify that trait in a woman, nigga, bounce. If it's a problem. <clears throat> now, if you can handle it, you can handle it. Uh, but a, if you know you can't handle that shit, nigga, leave. It's, all, it's a lot of pussy out there like that. I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to just keep playing the game, man. I'm going to break her until she break wide. That's it. Hey, <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And if another woman words. can get my woman away from me, she wasn't a woman in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. We're going to wrap the show up, man. Tell them where they can find you. Snaps. <clears throat> Pin Roethlisberger on IG. Snaptastic underscore pin. Uh, check out, get your I Write gear, the Dina Collective album coming soon. You think you write all the time? Well, I write more. Yeah. yeah. Shout out Geechee Gotti, man. One of the <laughs> champion of the year, man. Geech. West Coast niggas taking over battle rap, man. Shout out real name Brandon, nigga. Just keep yeah. twerking. Pasadena. Pasadena, Pasadena nigga. You know what I'm saying? Shout, Shout out to Craig Fax. Yeah. To this is boy Autobots. Hello, world. You can find me on Instagram. It's Autobots. You can find me on YouTube, Twitter, Autobots. I love your life. You did. Yes, sir. This shit phase out. That's funny. That's funny shit. Man. Yeah, bad boy Blaze. Shout out to myself. Uh, double O B L Z. Instagram. Zero zero B L Z. Yo, fuck with me. Say, Sonny. Come on. Shout out, Sonny. Come on, Sonny. You got nothing to say? Drop your shit, oh, son. Don't look for me. God damn it. That nigga says Sunny Davis. Let's find that nigga in the rhythm of the beat of the night. That nigga is fine, nigga. The only place you will find him. Rhythm of the night. I like Extra. Um, <laughs> I don't mean that nigga drug dealer. Calm down, Gladys. Calm hey. down, Gladys. Sure, how, <laughs> how you make yourself throw up again? <laughs> oh, I just shook that nigga hand. Why you throw up? Why That nigga got a tonsil in the back of his ass. You be making your ass throw up. I know what you be doing. <laughs> you got a relationship with a doctor that slapped your ass at birth. Did you? The real you Dr. Pin. We all got the dirty ass nigga in the back. <laughs> Goddamn glitter girl hat, nigga. Hey. So you work at a motherfucking. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, I <laughs> All show clothes in the back of a taxi, right? <laughs> 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 nigga, you look like the little, nigga look like the little Caesar's mascot. 
This nigga. Oh, no, no, no. That nigga's dirty. Well, little Caesar's oh, no, he's just homeless. This nigga been flipping rental signs all day. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Show, you're an endangered species. You said that before. That's what's. <laughs> he did. He did. I was like, I was like, like the whole premise of the joke. Uh, All right, let me let me do my sign. Nigga, nigga ate cancer off a puppy. Nigga <laughs> 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 stole. What's that on the back of the puppy's ear? <laughs> oh, yeah. Your grandma talk like Jerry the King Lawler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you laughed because he laughed? Oh, fuck that. I'm laughing at you niggas joke, nigga. I laughed at your gums. How about that? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I laughed. 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 I Frijoles, carne. Frijoles, carne asada. Carne. All right, man. That nigga, that nigga, Tom Muffin, like he bite bricks. The real Dunkin' Penny here is on the floor. You gotta wear that, that, that bomb. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas, y'all niggas in cahoots now, nigga. Oh. 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 Yeah, I just, I bombed today. Did I bomb? Y'all niggas. I knew you was bro. You used to talk about that nigga grandma. I'm like, okay, this nigga ain't got no more. <laughs> Your grandma sent it. Your grandma though. Yeah, Blade Brown coming out uh, on the 14th. Love day, you know what I'm saying? We're looking for that. Nerd gang clothing. All that good shit, man. Fuck with your boy, man. All day. Don't even eat. Uh, <laughs> yo, what's up, man? This be your boy, The Real DJ Show, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to me on YouTube. Uh, Instagram is The Real DJ Show. Um, the YouTube is Plan A Radio. If you got music, man, tap in. We do battles, all that other shit, man. I don't want to miss out. Uh, make sure you also follow me on Twitter, The Real DJ Show, and Twitch. How many breaths? <laughs> <laughs> How many breaths? You dress like Uncle Charles from the Bone Thugs and Harmony video. <laughs> <laughs> Charge, I kill the little meanie, little meanie, little meanie. 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 Little Go ahead, you said you should. Oh, no, no, no. Go ahead, Uncle Ty. You out there. Tell them how you ain't out there. Tell them I'm out there, man. You know what I'm saying? Uncle yeah, Ty after Comedy. After nine, it's over. <laughs> you ain't out there now. Oh, man. Uncle Ty Comedy. Uh, I'm out there. IG, Twitter, Facebook. Um, check out my album. Call them out there. You can name all the social media. Nigga, take it all, of, all of them shits. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Check out the uh, Tinder. I ain't out there on that. That's fucked up. Said Tinder. <laughs> and they got his whole family on his Tinder. <laughs> it's us, bitch. You got all of us. We want a family fuck. <laughs> so if you, if you got a wife, if you got a wife and a daughter and a son, I want to fuck me with my my wife yeah. and my daughter. And that nigga DJ Show ain't gonna let me say that. Family fuck side. A family. I just said a family fuck. <laughs> Which is funny. And DJ Show didn't think that shit was funny. I thought that nigga show me. I thought that nigga show like, ha. Oh. Oh, like, oh, like, family fuck. Family fuck was hilarious. That nigga was like, ha. That nigga caught the like, ha ha ha. I didn't even hear it. This is us. <laughs> 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 Family yeah, fuckers, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shout out to, shout out to the I'm out there nation. I know you out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all out there? They didn't check the album out, man. It's called I'm out there. So I love me in Pasadena on there. Ooh, and they, and Taco Tuesday today. Taco Tuesday. And show bomb today, but he was a bomb sniffing dog. He said that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid, nigga. Stupid. 
<laughs> now you got fired from a Panda Express from selling recipes, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck took the nar- garlic noodles back? <laughs> oh, I said it wrong. I'm tripping. I can't say it. I'm high as a motherfucker. A oh, family date is comedy, bro. Hey, my gra- it's my grandfather, my grandfather. They looking for great, great fucks. <laughs> great, great fucks? Great fucks. Your grandfather would be looking for a great fuck, right? Great fuck. Great fuck. Great fuck. We're going to be in Seattle. Would you fuck your grandmother's homegirl? Yeah, yeah. Grandmother's homegirl? Yeah. <laughs> now they all dead. Well, now I'm going to say something. It's a thick one. Yeah. I'm looking at you. You hear a hearing aid now. I'll probably get hollow on the other side. Yeah. Done? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be in uh, Seattle February 26th. Get y'all tickets. Uh, Dewan, yeah, get my shit at hotepish.com uh, slash shop. I got all my shit on sale. I got some old shit coming, but I'm high. Like, I got all, all the, the live drum samples.com. Like, I finally got some of my packs back. So yeah, it's going to be up there next month. And, uh, all the, the good live sound and all that good shit. Goddamn right. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell them about that shit, son. That's some good shit, bro. Yes, sir. Hey, Langston Hughes Theater, Seattle, Washington, February 26th. We'll be there, man. Hopefully two shows. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all buy those tickets on the website, thecraigsmith.com. Go to events. Man, purchase a ticket. Also, when you purchase a ticket, if you put who your favorite person is on the show, you know what I'm saying? They get the credit for that ticket sale. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. make sure. No, no, I, saw, I saw one last night through YouTube. Y'all niggas better get on some. Let's sell out, man. Let's sell out, man. Let's sell this show out, man. And get this shit going. Seattle, Washington. The Langston Hughes Theater. We'll be there February 26th. Um, wow, I wish we could put a link uh, to the tickets, but we'll do that next time. <laughs> make sure y'all support, man. Can't wait to tell, to tell some. Can't wait to do this podcast live for y'all. It's going to be live streamed, too. Yeah, for sure. Uh, other than that shit, mad love for y'all niggas, man. Y'all be looking out for us, bruh. Nigga said, when y'all comic to the NYC, when well, you can spell, nigga, fuck out of Let's go Seattle. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Seattle. Seattle. Yes, Come on, man. You got yours. Y'all keep purchasing. We own it. The chill never withers, man. It's basically damn near done, man. I'm going to drop it very soon. I'm just getting this NFT figured out with this company to see how we're going to do it. And if I owe you something, uh, get it from God, nigga. Mm-hmm. I got a fist. Oh, yes.